Hey, we're with your daily YouTube live streams and more. And today for you, I have a really exciting stream. I'm going to be playing Fortnite and then we're jumping into watching the Call of Duty next event, which includes uh, Warzone Mobile. So it's going to be a lot of fun. The stream is sponsored by Warzone Mobile by Activision Call of Duty. So big shout out to them. And um, I got a lot of things to talk to you about later on that. But first off, we're starting with some Fortnite. So we're going to jump right into it. Maybe I'm going to go with... Uh, a little no build off the rip actually no I'll, I'll just play a, a normal normal game you know it's a normal game uh don't forget the next season is coming up in fortnite and if you guys want to support me make sure to use code typical gamer in the item shop just like that and uh they released some new teasers of like different hands in chrome and you can see singularity here there's also one for uh gwen from spider-man we have um, Gotham Meowsels and then one more, which is like a kind of custom skin uh, for Fortnite. So we got a really early stream here. How is everybody doing? I'm surprised that you guys are awake. What's up, Khalif? What's up, Trenton? What's good, man? Uh, Natan, Lumber, uh, everybody in chat. How you guys doing? How you guys doing? Uh, can you do me a favor? Type exclamation mark Warzone Mobile in chat. See if that works. I just need one person to do it. How's Charlie? Charlie's great. What's up, Mega? Chloe Davies, thank you for the six months. I'm doing well. Yeah, I'm excited to see the, uh, the Cotton next stream. You got suspended at school. Hey, Rapid Drift. Behave, man. Behave. No, it's exclamation mark Warzone Mobile. No spaces. How you doing? I'm doing good, Reggie. How are you? You ever gonna run up some GTA again? Yeah, definitely. How are you today? I'm doing great. All right, nobody, nobody has typed it in. For Nightbots, just, just he took a break. Took a little break. Okay, I might have to add another command then. Do 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 Warzone Mobile And then add this command, cool down five seconds. Alright, we should be good now. Do exclamation mark Warzone Mobile. There we go. It works now. Oh wow. Do I have some shoot snipers? Oh, he's eating baby Yoda. Bro. Where's my Stop eating baby Yoda, bro! Stop it! Stop eating baby Yoda! Not eat baby Yoda. Look at my shirt, by the way. They sent me this. It's pretty sick, right? Oof. And the heat. It's time to be a whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm petting my dog, bro. I'm disoriented. I think we're good. Hit the mushrooms. We're going crazy on the mushrooms. There we go. I have a gun. I have two guns. Just like the guns you can get in Warzone Mobile. <laughs> no, just get it. What in the weird? Yeah, exclamation mark Warzone Mobile works now. I'll explain how it works after. I'll explain what's good with it, you know? Yo, that's actually legit. Did you see the way I opened that chest? 
You seen that? I, I've never seen anybody open a chest like that. Oh, there's a chest. What the heck? That should heal me all the way. You think I can get up with this? Ooh, no, I can't. There we go. We're good. Yo, this lobby's dying out quick. What is happening? Hey. Hey, I got the sauce every day. I going crazy. Are you guys excited for uh, Warzone 2 and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2? I'm actually super hyped for them. Like legit. Modern Warfare 2 had to be my favorite Call of Duty ever. Bro, he had a gold one too. What are the odds of that? I think the odds of that are pretty low. He thought I didn't see him, bro. He really thought. And you see his little head. He thought I didn't see his little head, chat. Oh, you don't get any mats from what? You don't get any mats from that? Random duos, please. Yeah, I'll have to do random duos like tomorrow, probably. I'm gonna get minis from this vending too. Mm, what's going on? What? What? little ramp flip there, you know, keep it fancy. Let me upgrade the sniper once. Hit the road, Jack. So I'll be uh, hopping and watching the event in 10 minutes. After this game of Fortnite. So I gotta try to speed run it. Oh my gosh, Charlie's coming back in. Don't you dare look at Baby Yoda. Yeah, you. Don't you dare look at Baby Yoda. I know what you've done. Charlie just wants to eat Baby Yoda in the background. Why can't I be your friend in Fortnite? Because then I'd have to accept everybody. And then I can't have tens of thousands of people of my friends list, you know? Probably knows competition when he sees it. I don't, I don't doubt him, man. Baby Yoda do be looking cute, you know? Dude, what the heck? Where did this guy go? Fortnite in the morning is a different beast, bro.
Heavy sniper is so cheap. How isn't that fall damage? Like, dude's four stories up. Shouldn't he take fall damage? He dropped all his loot. He wasn't having it. Heavy snipers. I'm crutching on it right now, so I'm not going to use it anymore. Only 20 people left. I think I can finish out this game before I watch the uh, COD next event. What are you guys looking forward to the most at this event? It's a robot. I hope next season they do less robots. Because in my own mind, is there a lot of robots in Fortnite right now? I want to see if it'll be worth picking up. I think without a doubt, like, I'm going to be picking up Modern Warfare 2. Duh. Because it's Modern Warfare 2. There's somebody here somewhere. robots would mean longer queues but i agree i mean like i think they just got to ease up skill based matching i guess right One thing on my mind. Put in the akimbo, bro. The akimbos were nuts. Stop eating baby Yoda. Stop it. Don't look at me like that. I know I know you know what you're doing. Baby Yoda doesn't deserve this. He just comes in, he bites Baby Yoda, and then leaves. And I know that he knows what he's doing. Charlie is starting dominance? Yeah, I think so.
Bro, why is this guy sweating so early in the morning? He's probably asking me the same thing. He's like, why is this guy so sweaty, bro? I just woke up early to play Fortnite before I go to school. This guy is sweating on me. Super early stream, me up. He's under. He's deep underground, chat. Deep underground. Should I do it? Oh, that breaks it. Oh shoot. No way! I just, I just trapped him in the ground. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so good. I just trapped him underground. Oh man. Oh, the homie's not having a good time, let me tell you. Oh man, oh man. Four people left. Do 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 Shoot. Uh, who rifted then? Not this guy. All right, last guy. I almost just died. <laughs> but my face when I do this. Where's the last guy at? I gotta watch the event. So bad at it. I just woke up, man.
Molly, leave Baby Yoda alone! Oh, there he is. Bro, what is this? Why are you doing that? Bro, he like messed up his start and messed me up. Oh, I just teleported. Serve lag much? Oh my, what is happening? I'm getting like red errors on this. It's time to watch the event, guys. GG! We start off with the dub. Triple twos. You already know what it is. Let's load up the uh, Call of Duty next event. Fun is what you come away with. Absolutely. Uh, you know, fun is definitely what we're going to be heavily focused on. And I'm particularly excited about some of the social features that are coming as part of this launch. Things like proximity chat and do gulag twists. There's definitely going to be instances where players will interact not only with their own squads, but may even have to work oh, together Dr. with other Lupo. players just, in unexpected just and Dr. pretty Lupo. fresh ways. We've already seen some hilarious interactions, in fact, during play sessions. And I can't wait to see how these new ways to connect evolve over time. Now, Pat, what can you tell us about weapons? Oh, wow. So we've about completely weapons. innovated in the area of connecting you, the player, to your instance in the game, making you feel more in the game. And I guess you can think about it as starting out with the camera. The camera represents your eyes, mm. right? So connecting the camera to your body, We've done that with some inverse kinematics and some physics and, and other things. Kinematics. Like that. We've connected then the body to the Excuse hands me? on the gun. Again, with some sophisticated uh, inverse kinematics. We've kinematics. We've the gun with the actual bullets coming out of it. So now, when wherever that gun is pointed, however it's pointed, the bullets are coming out of it exactly from the. Thanks, the kinematics. No disconnect there. Isn't and it that's cinematics? Before I even get into what we've done with the new gunsmithing and how you build your weapons and the platforms etc but look i you're, you're making up new words and i hope you'll love it like we do all right well we've taken up enough time but before they kick us off the stage can we tell them about raids yes thank you so we with the she got cool pants on those green Modern pants Warfare 2, and then shortly They're after unique. that warzone 2.0 and then very shortly after that for the first time ever we're going to release a raid in call of duty it's a very different kind of gameplay. Array. It's very intense. Oh, we think it's very fun, um, and, and we're super excited about it. And by the way, there's one other thing I want to talk about for all, all of uh, you hardcore players out there. I heard so many of you talk about what, what play challenges can you give us beyond just winning, which, anyway, I won't go off on that, but we've got a whole series of quests and gameplay challenges that occur when you actually win in Warzone or you hit different milestones that you'll have an opportunity to, to do. And believe me when I say, Let's everyone go, no in the vanity. match will know when you're on them and if you, if you prevail at them. So look forward to that. Big things ahead. And okay. now, before we kick it over to Miles and team to carry the day, we are extremely excited to give you what? the world premiere of the Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer trailer. Oh! Thanks again and enjoy the show. <laughs> Wait, I think this one has copyright music. If it starts playing music, I gotta mute it, but. We got info oh. reports of Hassan and the cartel. Oh my gosh. This is the, this is the multiplayer. Over the globe. This is a world premiere, bro. World premiere. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, the world is a vampire. What a good song, but. Is it tough? I can't, I can't play that song because clearly it's copyright, but. 
Bro, why is it black? Hello? Okay, there we go. This is, this is the multiplayer trailer for Modern Warfare 2. Ooh, people are going crazy. Is that, that's the new heartbeat sensor? Okay. This is, this is like what, new search to destroy or something? I don't know. That's probably like a hostage gimmick. Ooh, we got some sniper gameplay. The heck is that thing? Dude's mantling and shooting. I know there's no audio, but they're playing the copyright song, so I can't. Did they stop it? Let me see. Oh, there we go. No, bro, they're still playing it. Is that an AC-130? Oh, the boys in the AC-130 not have a good time, huh? Bro, stop! The world is a vampire. Like, I love that song, but... Oh, look at these buggies. Wait, is this Warzone 2 gameplay? No, this is... This is... Wait, is it? Or is this just... It's gotta be Warzone 2 gameplay if there's boats and stuff, right? There's a rat in a cage. Oh, Warzone 2? Yeah, it's being shown. Wow. <laughs> Bro, I feel like I'm actually going to play Warzone 2 quite a bit. New gunsmith. What the heck is that? <laughs> Third person mode? Get early access to the open beta. Okay. I think I can play this weekend, right? Oh, are they running it back? Got intel reports of Hassan and the cartel. Bro, is this stream bugging? All over the globe. We've never seen activity on this scale before. Or is this a different trailer? They have an army. But we have each other. Nah, bro. Like, I, I think it's a really cool, like, I think it's a really cool trailer. But why does he say that? Why does he go, They have an army, but we have each other. Bro, what is that? Like Don Toretto? Did he make this? He's like, family. So I guess they like, they messed up the start. So they're replaying the trailer again, right? Let me just make sure. Yo, why again? See, everybody's saying, why again? Why again? It's because the beginning messed up with the trailer. Family is stronger than guns. Yeah, uh, the the open beta right now is just on PlayStation though, right? I think I might get it. They sent me a code to to play it, so I'm surprised Call of Duty doesn't have like Chevrolet pickup truck as like the cars, you know? The game looks cool though. What do you guys think? You guys gonna be picking it up? Instacop for me. Only PS4 and PS5 until tomorrow, I believe. Oh, okay. Let me let me look it up. I want to play the audio again, but all you're gonna hear is the world is a vampire. I think I might grind Warzone 2. Would you guys would you guys want me to grind Warzone 2? The third person mode looks cool. Yeah, I'm excited for the third person mode. Ultimate weapon is team. Oh my gosh, bro. They really doubled down on the family. The family vibes, huh? 
Oh, the world. Why every time I unmute it, guys? The world is a vampire. And there we go. Call of Duty fans. The trailer so nice. We ran it twice. It is all there. Everything oh. that makes this franchise so, so special. We are incredibly excited to be here today. And after that, quite frankly, how can you not be? My name is Miles Ross, and I am so excited to truly be here with a few of the members of the Infinity Ward team who are bringing Modern Warfare 2 to life. Guys, we have 200 of our friends behind us who are going to be playing and streaming shortly before that we also get invited to that director of communications <laughs> for infinity ward as well as joe sick over the on there jeff Smith, you guys hit the like button design directors here at infinity ward guys first off oh how are things <laughs> evolving uh from modern warfare 2019 i mean let's start high level because there's a lot to get through today guys you saw that trailer let's go hey, with the trailer. philosophy steph let's, let's stay high level what went into the creation of the game you said it precisely there is so much this game has just so much content it's got something for everyone and it's really been the result of three years of hard work um at iw and our partners across all of the activision studios and so much it's okay because they get to play the game you guys at home the but i get paid to watch the them play the game <laughs> think, here, think about that, that conversation and feedback from 2019 is really been a core piece of what modern warfare 2 is and it's a dialogue that do we want to play to, uh, you know continue especially here <laughs> w well we've got so much in store <laughs> with this mp experience and um, love that. people like jeff and joe here who i am honored to work with and their experience on this franchise we're in good hands <laughs> <laughs> indeed okay so jeff um well, I, don't, I don't know where to start anymore uh let's uh let's set up what modern warfare 2 multiplayer is is all about uh and let's stay high level for now because there's a lot of details friends juicy details Juicy sure, details. Mean, you know, when you come into making a sequel, it can be kind of tricky. You know, um, what do you keep from the previous game? Uh, what do you get rid of? And where can you add new things in and not mess up this kind of nicely balanced ecosystem that we had? Uh, and so we came up with a few uh, methods. One of them being... Are talking about uh, Warzone 2 right behaviors. now? And I say behaviors um, and not uh, play styles. I think a lot of people will say play styles, but that can kind of change during a match. But behaviors are more ingrained in how players play. Mm. Um, and we just put them into three big groups. How players uh, play. I want that shirt. Which are just aggressive players. They just want to find the action and go. And then we have Sentinels. Um, and these are defensive players. They want to just kind of hold down a building, maybe keep a overwatch. Um, and then we have... We don't um, like defensive players. Which are only. reactive. And they kind of hang back and try to read the field and read where um, spawns are. And really, we just kind of use these as filters to keep us honest with the content that we're making. Um, so they're making enough toys and equipment for players to be successful playing our game. They're talking about Modern so Warfare 2, like Steffi, multiplayer, I think. What are some of the new features coming to multiplayer, um, some of the new stuff that you're most yeah. excited to talk about? Oh, boy. There are a ton of new features to dive into with this game. But um, we really pushed forward even the most fundamental aspects oh, cool. of, of what makes a I'm call put my face game, in the corner. Um, with Modern Warfare 2. And it's been really amazing for me to come on board uh, this past year and see these innovations Coming Wish they put her job title up. Because I don't know who this into, lovely lady you know, is. Breaking down the one v one, and personally for me, uh, water. Our water. I've seen the memes. And personally for me, really I really love corn. Um, but the aquatic combat, some of the things you're able to do with vehicles in the water. I think that level of immersion is really going to speak to fans. And does anybody know what she does? Really like, is she a lead designer or something? Last, uh, last couple months. Aquatic combat. Steph loves to swim. Um, Joe, sure can we can we go into some details about our water-based adventure? I can't float we very do? well. Yeah, I mean, last game we really wanted to add water, yeah. and we knew we didn't have time, right? So in Verdance, we froze the rivers and we made the outskirts just to kill trigger. In this game, as soon as we started Modern Warfare 2, we leaned into water, both visually, um, beautiful. Does costumes, anybody really want to um, shoot in water, though? White caps. Um, but we also, the gameplay side, there's unique ballistics underwater. Um, you only can use certain weapons underwater. Your pistol is your weapon underwater. Otherwise, you can't use your primary weapons. Um, but it's also a nice cover or evasion mechanic. If you're getting shot at, you can dive into the water, and as you get deeper, it gets murkier. Like, the farther you are from something, you can't see it. And so... It's been super fun for us to, to dig into water and really flex on what water could be in Call of Duty. And you saw what the water could in the be. mine that love floats. That. And every the piece of equipment line. yeah, has been love it. filtered. Like, how does it work through water? Like, we had to look at everything in the game and say, how does it work in water? Our What's vehicles, the best version? Our vehicles will just slowly submerge <laughs> yeah. instead of blinking out. Yeah, everything. Yeah, everything. That's cool. The behaviors oh are awesome. 
Oh my god! Well, I cannot wait to uh, can't quite wait to literally haha, dip my toes into those waters. Oh. Uh, but guys, let's not oh. forget about the ground and the air. Like, I mean, what else is going to be coming to the movement system, Joe? What have we got? Well, you know, last game we did mount um, and we had slide, and, and even though we're a military shooter, fluid movement is super important to us. So this game, if you saw in the trailer, Ooh, you look at the that. video, we have a new ledge hang mechanic, and that's essentially that's cool. a high mantle. But instead of doing a high mantle and throwing yourself up over into combat, you can now peek. If you have a pistol, you can pull that pistol out and use that. Um, we also added a dive. You know, last game we had the stop, kept your gun up. But we really wanted players to have an option where if they're getting shot at, they don't know where they're getting shot at, they can get down, get out of fire. But the other really cool thing is the dive is just high enough to let you get through a window. And so if you throw a grenade what? into a building second story, often you'll see players, you know, like rats leaving a ship, diving out through the windows. <laughs> and uh, it's just another, it's another option for players. Rats leaving a ship. Yeah, and all of these dynamic movements mean you can interact with vehicles specifically in a very cool way. I'm yeah. gonna save uh, some of that, some of that gas for when we get to Warzone 2. Some of that gas. Yeah, it's like, really exciting. All right, vehicle. That's cool. I like the diving. Uh, but now, guys, let's talk about equipment. Obviously, Call of Duty, crazy sandbox, a lot of cool toys to play with. Uh, Joe, what are some of the new dynamite new items that we're going to be throwing at each other and equipping and using in all sorts in the next game? I mean, you saw some cool stuff in the trailer. You saw the drill charge. You saw the shock stick. Um, one of the other cool ones you saw is the inflatable decoy. And this is a mine that you can throw out, and it basically sits there. And if a player gets close to it, it auto deploys and uh, basically what inflates the... like, a, like a car. What the heck? <laughs> And it faces the person that triggered it, and so it's a great distraction technique. Bro, you can fire it off with a with a clacker. If you want to control when it goes off, you can throw it in water. And here you just saw the the DDoS. We added all this equipment into this game, and the DDoS that's cool. are I actually think that's really cool. Like, hey, I'm gonna breach this building. I want to go clean house, but I don't want to deal with all the shit inside. So I'm gonna hit the DDoS. Boom! It's gonna shut down Perfect everything. And I can move in, yeah, and clear that room. Um, you saw the heartbeat sensor is back. It's got a new look. Uh, but it also has a battery as a balancing mechanic, so you can't use it indefinitely in Warzone. Um, and there's, I mean, there's this so much This is the TAC cam, too, which yeah. you guys yeah. just saw, which to me is um, my personal favorite. That's like some Valorant stuff, right? Of them, and yeah. even you can patch into your teammates, so you can, it gets a little crazy. Yeah, kind of like the a heck? sticky GoPro, but will actually mark your enemies for um, your team. Yeah. So what? It's, it's, That's I, actually I pretty cool. I expect to see a lot of fun there's so many, with that so many toys and new tools that we're like, we just want players to get in and play with. I think there's something like 13 filled upgrades, you know, between Warzone and Core MP, and it's it's pretty awesome. Oh my God. A Core tool, MP. All, DDoS. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, all this talk about equipment, uh, it reminds me, I mean, that's one element to look at now, but we've also got Gunsmith, brand new Gunsmith. Uh, guys, what can you tell me about it and, and how will it change the way that we, you know, level our weapons and manage them? I mean, what's going on there? Yeah, so the new gunsmith allows players to build out their weapons more smoothly than ever before. We we put out some videos yesterday for oh, the Oh, shows you at the bottom. Pre-order tomorrow for two and get open beta access. But we're really looking um, at starting tomorrow on PlayStation next week on Xbox and PC. For weapon customization. And the new weapon platforming will actually allow players to unlock Ooh. universal attachments through cross progression. So we saw a lot of really positive feedback from the community yesterday. This is sort of intended to, you know, decrease the grind. You're no longer unlocking every single attachment for every single weapon. Oh, that's weapon. cool. There will be some shared attachments through progression. And um, I'm really excited to see the streamers and the content creators jump into this today. Um, I know. I know we all love the gun bench from 2019, so it's exciting. Yeah, it does sound amazing. Uh, so we've been hearing uh, a little bit about weapon platforms and shared attachments. This is very, very cool stuff. Can you dive into those details, though, Joe? That's cool. We I do like that. Yeah, Less grind. What, to what Stephanie said, um, we had this vision last game with Gunsmith, and we, we were like, okay, what if you could take an assault rifle and you could make it an SMG? And that was our driving kind of like motivator for that system. Uh -huh. We kind of hit that. We you could, you could take it functionally through attachments, but the weapon name wouldn't change, and we couldn't change the receiver. And really, that's the key thing this game, is you can go into Gunsmith, you can set up an AK-47 assault rifle with a thermal optic, with a suppressor, with a grip, and then you can say, you know what, I want to change up the play style of this gun. You can swap out the receiver to the AK-74, What's the receiver? You make it an SMG, is that a, like the... but you can keep that optic, that suppressor, that grip, they all come with. Is that the... and to what I don't know, what said, is that on a gun? We have shared attachments within these platforms. We have branching progression. You unlock those guns by playing with other guns. And then we have shared attachments across all guns. And it's all to hit this vision of I'm building up an arsenal of weapons and an arsenal of attachments. I'm sitting down to my What's gun the barrel? Bench, and I'm going to make the, base the, of the gun? weapon for me. I think... The I'm Canadian, guys. The simplest way to think about it is this, is a gun tree, and each time uh, you hit a branch, 
uh, that's a receiver, and they and they grow out of that. Yeah, mm. yeah. and that's you know we Gun gotta trees. that in reality. The a functionally receiver, you know, is is based in that changing the weapon type, and I think it provides a really seamless experience for players looking to build out the perfect weapon for a multitude of play styles. So you're going to be able to jump into that platform and customize however you want for you know situational combat. And um, you're actually going to see the FJX Cinder Weapon Vault in action Ooh. today, which is the entirely unlocked Platform 1, the M4, the Mic 4. And the Weapon Vault maintains its aesthetic properties across all corresponding attachments. So we've heard you talk oh, about that's the cool. Frank and Print. That's cool. This is our answer. It's an extremely rare. Um, this is a huge you know, project for, for our teams to design these. But um, it is the ultimate weapon blueprint. And even better, you can unlock the entire Cinder Weapon Vault with the Vault Edition of Modern Warfare 2. Mm. Available in beta. Available in beta, so we can rock with that thing all Available in beta. Okay, so Gunsmith looks incredible. Uh, okay, I'm excited. I cannot wait to get into this one soon. Our streamers are going to get into this one soon as well. Uh, but first, guys, we need to hear about maps and modes. We've got our tools to play wait, with. Wait, so are they going to... Maps and modes, though. Let's get into this gonna one. Are they going to play on the stream? Into, uh, the design team, you know, the philosophy, uh, I suppose, behind building out maps. Ask me, Jeff, this is for you. Um, yeah, you know, right from the start, we knew we wanted to build a big, another big map, um, not only for Battle Royale, but also for this other mode that we've been working on for uh, quite a long time. <laughs> um, I read about that on the internet. Ah, yeah. yes. <laughs> the other but, mode? You know, is that the one they were talking these about? These big maps, you, it's kind of a collection of all these little POIs, these points of interest. And um, within each of these, we've really found Glad you told me what a POI that is. you can play core, large-scale core modes, like Ground War, um, and a bunch of others um, really well. And so, you know, stepping back from this large map and looking at how much open world sandboxy gameplay that we have, we looked back at our 6v6 maps and really tried to refine and uh, make them a tighter experience mm. to contrast all this big old, um, kind of exploratory gameplay. So the maps uh, for 6v6, um, in comparison to the last game, they're just um, a little bit more straightforward, a little bit more refined, and um, I think I fans like that. really enjoy how um, quick they play. I do like that. Yo, Evan so Brooks, thank you for the donut. Lucas as well. Ishan, thank you for the, 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 the membership. Razor Sykes for the 10. Typical game response. Thanks and, for being a big uh, role uh, model for everyone. We love your streams, and I hope you have a good day. Hey, thanks so much, man. That means so much to me. Big shout out to you, and I hope you have a great day as well, brother. David Basrab, thank you for the 30 months. We will do, brother. Thank you. And then we have Sinister. Thank you for the four. Starting with one, we've got a real fun one. Finish 58 months. Hey, Andre, always happy to see you back at you. Can you give me some details on Sarif I always smile Bay. when I see your profile picture. So Sarif Bay is this little fishing town. Ooh, um, a little fishing town? Big map. And it, we picked this because it has such a great mix of gameplay. So this is a ground war um, map? Harbor, so we get to show off all our boats and our new amphibious um, APC. Um, and, you know, swimming, as we've already said. Um, but what you get inside the town is this really intense urban combat with all these tight little alleyways and uh, all this great rooftop combat. And mixed with our ledge hang, you get these really cool parkour combat. Um, uh, Wait, actually. you can actually jump on those? Yeah, I love how you describe the uh, the rooftops there on this map specifically as like a separate ecosystem. You can kind of migrate that entire wow. vertical. You can go up there yeah. and just hang out and fight other snipers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's well, that cool. fantastic, Jeff. Okay, so that's yeah, I'm not sniping though. Maps. I'm up there with uh, an AR. Some of the six v six maps. I think we have uh, we have some footage of one of the new maps that we're going to see today. Fifty-eight months in this year, uh, insane. Macarda Thank you so much. Uh, do that's you mind wild. giving us some details on this one? Sure. Macarda is um, let's go, junkie. Is a uh, think it'll be street great. market in a historic section in Mexico. Um, our story behind this is uh, reminds me of that one map. Have some intel that uh, narcotics are being smuggled out of a warehouse, and they're going in trying to um, find and seize them. Um, this map plays really fast and a lot of action right down that center lane. Um, the Mercado is a very dangerous uh, neck mm. of the woods, so watch out when you're uh, <laughs> playing in the beta. It plays fast. Oh, I thought he said really there's going to be random like fantastic, and again, uh, interesting to see uh, you know how that ties. In goons attacking you, you know. All sorts of fun and games wink, ahead wink. of us. Looks amazing. Battle maps, core maps, six v six. All this looks fantastic. Uh, but let's go back to modes. What's up, Savvy? Seen some maps. Uh, up, what about the modes being played on battle maps? Uh, we will have the return of ground war, uh, but we've got yeah, a I don't new know, large scale mode that you've uh, alluded to, right? Let's talk invasion. Invasion. So Invasion is, it's a, it's a big war map, it's like, it's a big war TDM, or we affectionately call it... Only uh, objective is to eliminate or be eliminated. Um, it's 20 v 20 players, but there's also 20 AI on each team. What? Uh, AI are coming in fast roping, they're coming in on medium birds. 
Um, and it's this high action mode. It's super fun, but it's also really chill. The announcer's not barking at you. He's not saying like, hey, get to B. You know, they're taking C. You can kind of play it how you want to play it. This you is for the boomers, bro. Snipe. You can grab a shotgun and go room clearing. You can push <laughs> that one is for the, the boomers, bro. They will come hunt you. Uh, but we've also been really um, <laughs> conscious of where we put AI. Um, we didn't put AI in kill streaks or anything like that because we don't want AI showing up in search and destroy. We don't want AI in domination. This mode, though, however, was built for AI, and it's a super fun mode yeah. for people to try. Yeah. Funny aside, you know, we took the name Ground War from a place. Tell your parents if they're gonna play, they gotta play that mode. They'll feel good about CDM themselves. And Dom. I and dropped the 20 bomb. The in the last 19 game, AI um, kills. And now we're able to add kind of the sandbox TDM, and so we're kind of completing the cycle of that um, that old playlist. Yeah. yeah. Well, this large scale stuff looks amazing. This looks so so awesome, man. Uh, okay, so what about the new 66 like modes? Just keep dialing it in closer and closer. Steph, what have we got? Yeah, so we also have two new 6v6 modes that you're Ooh. going to be seeing here displayed today. Um, and they will okay. be beta in Prisoner Rescue and Knockout. Prisoner Rescue. Okay, let's go into Prisoner Rescue first, Joe. So Prisoner Rescue is an attack and defend mode. It's a I actually like this. The defenders have two prisoners. They're kind of spread out, and they need to, to keep hold of them. The goal of the attackers is to get to those prisoners, pick them up, and carry them to exfil. Um, when you pick them up, you enter what's called a wounded carry, where they're up on your shoulders and you can't use your primary weapons. Instead, you have to use a pistol if you brought it or you're just stuck with fists. But the way that we give the attackers an advantage once they grab that prisoner is they get a radar sweep for their team so they can call oh. out where the defenders are. Um, and the objective icon over the prisoner goes away as soon as they scoop them up. So now the defenders have to basically rotate back to the exfil and set up defensive positions. And it's this heart pounding. That's cool. I actually like that. Like mode once you grab that prisoner and try and get them out. Um, yeah, that, that hero run to yeah. the exfil <laughs> is. Um, Definitely, yeah. uh, you know, S and big S and D energy in this mode. Um, yeah, that's what I was feeling too. Resonates with me in my time in esports. So this is my personal favorite of the new ones, and um, also sort of the strategic revives that happen. And there is mm -hmm. a revive mechanic, and so you are able to to pick up your teammates. And um, I've seen some pretty pretty wild comebacks in our like playtest. revive or down. Yeah, like if somebody's fun. like, we got to play just, a tiny bit yesterday. It was like, can you pick them up? Fun, and I know the community is going to love diving into it over the next week. Okay, revives like someone's dead. You revive them, you, right? One more thing I have to bring up. I have the honor of officially announcing that third person view is finally coming to Modern Warfare 2. Uh, what are the details behind this what one? We have? got a little teaser of it uh, on on stage from Patro, but what are the details? Yeah, you saw a little hint of it in the trailer too. Um, it's it's been a pet project for us, right? We've always wanted to do third person, and all we're we're working on all this other stuff, we've been kind of lifting up and doing third person. Ooh, Each third person mode, looks the good. The cool thing is that it's a modifier on our game, right? We can just turn on third person. In the beta, we'll be playing it in hardpoint, but we want to try it post-launch in S&D. We want to try it in VR, um, and we have... You know, camera work, the camera collision's been reworked, uh, it handles tight spaces, there's a water camera, there's an interior camera. You can feel the weapon shake when you're firing with it, and it's just, we've put a lot of work into it, and we're excited for people to give it a try. Incredible. I can't wait to see what third-person COD feels like in 2022. Sexy skins and everything. This is a lot of information, Steph. Like, we've, there's a ton here. I tried to warn you. They're delivering <laughs> a lot of new features for you guys to try out ahead of release. Um, and I said we were going to be bold with this beta. Is there going to be a third person lock, though? To come at launch. I want so the SOCOM vibes since SOCOM's not around anymore. Just a taste. How can there be even more? I mean, <laughs> we haven't even got to Warzone yet. <laughs> even, okay. okay, so what about uh, this year's third mode? So I'm happy to say that Special Ops will return as our third mode and will be focused on two-player missions, asymmetrical in game design. So think one player on air support, one player on the ground. And um, I think the OG fans will be really excited because OG. we've looked at Love it. You know, some of the iconic Modern Warfare missions like Overwatch and, and really Yeah, third person to, will be um, cool with all the skins in game, I agree. Themes into the design so uh we'll be talking more about special ops in the uh in the months to come steph you're saying i should be looking uh now for a special ops partner sitting right next to you yes you are indeed well i'm all set then stephanie i do believe we have one more uh surprise for playstation players out there what's that indeed we do let's uh roll the clip wait did playstation buy call of duty or did microsoft buy call of duty what the heck is this it's sick PlayStation exclusive content. Empty handed. I was born. Empty handed. I will ascend. Blade or bullet. Fist or bullet. 
It's really cool. These are merely tools. I feel like homie would get shot though, just walking out in the open like that, but you know. I know it's a trailer. That's a cool skin. Take Miles ISO. Fix your mic. PlayStation Fri players will receive an exclusive operator Fix your only, mic. only as a warrior and gun for hire descended from centuries old samurai clan and torn between country and family, just like me. Uh, this is such an awesome looking operator, guys. Tony is going to be playable on day one for all who pre ordered through the PlayStation Store. Plus, he comes with a high level weapon bl blueprint playable in multiplayer and Warzone 2.0. Steph, badass. Oni is awesome. I myself am a PlayStation player, and so I will be locking becoming Oni main day one for this game. Um, <laughs> And it's been really awesome to see our narrative team building out his lore, really bringing this operator to life, okay. with the creation of his backstory, his motives. And I think um, the art team absolutely crushed it with this skin. He is so, so cool looking. <laughs> all right, so we keep talking about all the uh, the things that you know we have to look forward to, but um, we are missing quite a big one here. We're missing the start of the beta. So for anyone who wants to get an early first-hand look at Modern Warfare 2, and trust me, you definitely want to, it is immediately available around the corner. For PlayStation players who pre-order any oh. version, early access to the open beta starts tomorrow. So tomorrow, sure baby. So preloading right now. Now, also check out your screens, since here's exactly when you can play the beta on your platform of choice. But don't forget, friends, it's also definitely worth noting that if you pre-order the Vault Edition of Modern Warfare 2, you get to use the red Team 1 for one operator pack and the FJX Cinder Weapon Vault in the beta in addition to being able to earn in-game rewards for playing all sorts of cool swag. And don't forget that if you digitally pre-order Modern Warfare 2, you also get up to a week early of campaign access. So wait, campaign a week early. All right, folks. Early. I hope you enjoy. Wait, that if I buy it on PC, do I get it on... You're going to get to like see if I buy it on PC, do I get it on PlayStation or do I have to buy it twice? Plus here and ready to rock and roll. But first... We'll be right back to show off the world premiere of Warzone 2.0. Don't go anywhere. Call of Duty next, brought to you by Mountain Dew, official drink of Modern Warfare 2. Little nice. Caesars, oh. a proud partner of Call of Duty next and Modern Warfare 2. HyperX, official peripheral partner of Call of Duty. Play like a pro on the big screen with 144 hertz VRR and AMD FreeSync. Now on TCL. Wait, so six is there TVs. no cross Prime progression? Game. Visit gaming.amazon.com today and start no, claiming your free content. Like, can, if I buy it on PlayStation and then I play on PC, do I not get to use the on site, marching down the skin? The you know what I mean? In mind, to be the first players to play Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Oh, wait, but bro, is this, is this copyright? So much in this game. There is almost oh, it's Courage. Look at him. Are so high. And what are you looking forward to most when it comes to Warzone 2? Prisoner rescue. I'm looking forward to using that inflatable soldier decoy to mess a lot of players. Kill streaks, I think. I'm honestly here just to learn as much as I can to prep for old men of optic because those guys are very old now. So maybe some OG maps coming back. A map that everyone can play. Honestly, give me a broken shotgun. <laughs> What's your favorite game mode and Mountain Dew flavor combo? Search and destroy Code Red. Capture the flag, Code Red. If I'm going hard with the boys on a long night of S&D and I'm trying to get some nasty in-game comms, I'm drinking Baja Blast all night. <laughs> Terminal or high rise? Easy terminal. Ooh, terminal. Most people have terminal nostalgia. Terminal. Terminal. 100%. Terminal. I just replayed that recently and I realized that spawn trapping is horrendous. Easy. Strike. High rise. High rise. Terminal. What's your favorite flavor? Of I think game? Terminal I've wins. I've grown up on Code Red, so it's still Code Red for me. Honestly, I like the basic one, just Mountain Dew itself. Man, I was going to pick Code Red too. Can I get a second one? All right. Baja Blast. I've never tried so any of those. October 17th, unlock dual double XP, COD points, and also an exclusive Mountain Dew skin in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Mountain Dew skin! Mountain Dew skin. Ah! Oh, bro. Is this copyright sound? Probably copyright sound. It's not copyright? Wait, who's rapping? Mountain Dew? Mr. Mountain Dew? 
beautiful lot of fun people out there everyone having a good time and uh some incredibly well-dressed people out there and some definitely not sweaty t-shirts abound but here we go welcome back to call the duty nice next yeah, friends nice. we promised it was coming up and now the wait is over it is time to talk about warzone 2.0 we got a glimpse of some warzone 2.0 in the multiplayer multiplayer reveal trailer earlier today and it does look awesome however we need some true experts to help out back at the desk here we have got stephanie Snowden, josie got his joining us but of course welcome jack o'hara game director at well, they kicked out the guy Joe, how are we feeling we're ready to party here i mean this is uh this is a lot we need to know everything warzone 2.0 stephanie the world cannot wait <laughs> It, it, it feels crazy for me to be up here revealing Warzone 2.0. I ended up at IW a director as a fan of communications. Of the game, Thank so you for putting this that moment up. is absolutely bananas for me. But Warzone 2.0 is everything that we loved about the original Warzone, right? Where it, it it's based. I'm gonna fill in my the water, guys. Give me a sec. We all had that, me, that fun, miss, okay? all Some of those moments, and it's a it's a return to shared tech across the universe for Modern Warfare 2, and that's gonna create a really streamlined player experience and. Um, I think the key innovations that we discussed for multiplayer, those all exist across Warzone 2.0 as well. So we're, we're bringing it back. It's all connected. It's the same world. And I think the players are going to love it. Oh, my good God. Real excited about this one. Uh, God, again, there's a lot in this one, Jack. Uh, where do we go from here? <laughs> so MW2 and Warzone 2 have been developed side by side since the beginning, right? Since we started down this road, and they're part of the same universe. Like Stephanie said, they share the same mechanics, the same weaponry, and even more than that. But the centerpiece of all this, of course, is the new map oh that we've gosh, been early. working on since 2020 all with right, teams happened? across the globe. Uh -huh. um, it brings together our philosophies on map design. It brings together new technologies in order to do it, and lots and lots of artwork to make it happen. And we've learned so much from players experiencing Verdansk and playing in Verdansk over the, the first few years of Warzone. And we're really excited them for them to land in Al Mazra with their squad. Al Mazra? A variety of points of interest for players to explore in this map. And we're really looking forward to seeing everybody in there. Oh, here we go. A brand new map to explore and traverse. I cannot wait. Stephanie, let's take a look. That's right, Miles. Welcome to Al Mazra. This is our new map for Warzone 2.0. It is a Ooh. really interesting mix of geography. It is expansive desert settings with a mix of industrial areas, towns, a city, and of That's course, cool. water. It looks way better on this screen than it did on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you're going to find a lot of really cool elevation, rocky I'm peaks, excited for this. caves, subterranean spaces. This map is beautiful, and it's actually the biggest BR map that we've Ooh. ever made. And um, I am so excited for all of our streamers here to jump into Al Mazra later today. It's huge. Look at the size of that thing. Uh, okay, so that was a big picture, and it's a great way to see it from a sort of top-down layout. But uh, let's take a better look at some of these points of interest. So when we set out to create these spaces, the team works to make it feel like a real space, right? So that there's infrastructure in between mm. all the different what we call points of interest along the map. Ooh. Oh, if you Corey! Attention, you might even see a few that seem pretty familiar out there ah! as well. Um, and so as the team works through these, they're trying to find some variety on each uh, uh, point of interest to make them, them something that the players will want to drop in and get the particularity of that single point of interest and find the place that they want to drop and where they want to play, whether it be a high level elevation observatory at the center of the map whether it be the big city that's at the top right and whether they want to explore that or whether they want to work in some of our pois where we have water intersecting with ju with geometry here so we have in this one uh, Ooh, oh, that looks familiar. oh airport <laughs> Um, and it's there's terminal. a system that goes through all of this. So you'll be able to catch a boat and drive between the different POIs. <laughs> and here's one of our favorites, Sawa Village, which is... That's my favorite. Yeah. Oh, it's like Sunkertown. half underwater. I mean, I love to swim, so you find me there. Absolutely. Um, I'm curious what you guys think, Jack and Joe, okay. on what the hot drop will be today, right? We've been talking terminal. about this the last couple of days. This is our first time seeing... Corey other people who are not us play Warzone 2.0 and so I'm just very curious where you think everyone's gonna immediately drop today. I, I, I think so they're gonna drop to observatory just to go go back to home, you know? Go <laughs> yeah. have fun. They're it, coming home. Oh, it's always <laughs> nice you move into the map and you kinda hit a spot and you're like, wait a I've second. been here before. I know what this is. <laughs> what, what, you have all these flashbacks. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's a lot of nuggets in there for oh, some yeah. old uh, Modern for that oh. fans. Yeah, I'll say Corey. I think yeah. that's gonna, gonna <laughs> pop off. I think people will land around the edge so they stay in <laughs> as long as possible in this match. But oh, smart. We have some news for our edge of the map players yes, coming up. <laughs> oh, all right, guys. Well, the map looks absolutely gorgeous. Edge of the map players. Here, uh, drop in early in an alpha build later on today.
day. Okay, so moving on to the gameplay, uh, we've got this beautiful space to play in. How do all of these multiplayer elements we've talked about a little bit earlier, <laughs> how do they fit into Warzone 2.0? I mean, the super simple answer is all the stuff we talked about in multiplayer, the stuff you saw in the multiplayer trailer, that's all in Warzone, right? It's all in <coughs> So that tactical right. camera works in Warzone, that decoy mine works in Warzone. Like, it's all that's been built from the ground up for both. The slide, the dive, the water, like... More swimming. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> This is a great taste of some of the water combat. I can't wait to go full Captain Mill. You know, Apocalypse Now coming out of the water, knifing people. I mean, this just looks... Yeah, the rendering team made some work, so you come out, you're looking all wet. Yeah. See the caustics on the bottom. Yep. I, I'm not even sure what caustics oh. are. I, <laughs> I have no idea, but it sounds great, and it looks incredible. Ooh, look, look at that, our rocket. Control boat coming Ooh. by there with its two turrets. It's, there's some cool stuff. So I'm glad you brought up vehicles. Uh, Steph, you touched on vehicles a little bit earlier. What can we talk about? Uh, you know, we've seen boats, we've seen tanks, we've seen all sorts of track. What have we got? So we've implemented a new physics and handling model for the vehicles. So some vehicles are heavier, some will slide more, have more traction or less traction. And as you're driving them around and you're encountering them and other squads are playing with them, you can choose to shoot off the tires. So is it the same the engine? Handling. You can have them, re they react to explosive differently based on their weight. So if you're in a heavy armored 4x4 and you get hit by an RPG, it's going to kind of bounce a little bit, but not quite take the hit as a small sedan. Um, you can also choose with your squad to be rolling into a POI and somebody jumps out on the roof, somebody leans out the window, and suddenly you get yourself a lot of firepower driving into the POI. Of course, that vehicle needs to survive for quite some time in the map if you want to keep using it to go from point to point. Repair um, torch? And vehicles will run out of gas, or at least most of them will. Oh. Um, will <laughs> run out of gas, and then uh, you can bring them to a gas station to fill them up. If your tire's been blown up, you can get out and repair it, or you can bring it to a gas station to get repaired as well. Oh, that's cool. And of course, We've got, you know, water vehicles. We've got a small boat. We've got the boat that Joe mentioned with the turret with at the, the turret. front, turret at the back. So you can have that little moment cruising up the river with your whole squad ready to rumble. Um, so yeah, there is so much love that's gone into these you vehicles. Forgot the this coolest game. vehicle. The coolest the, vehicle. The Cow catchers. The helicopter that you can fly big, around. That's a big moving platform with three doors and people play. You can move a whole squad through the map. What? Re wreak havoc. It is so cool. Oh my god. I mean the fact that you can lean out of the window, you know, yep. grab your teammates, pile in a vehicle, actually, you know, do, engage in yep. battle from the window, leaning out, unless shooting some, combat. Unless somebody blew off your door. That Gas door? price is too <laughs> high. That yeah. does complicate That's things, doesn't it? PTSD from uh, Joe killing me many times in our play tests. <laughs> well, I hope the uh, gas price is in our Mazra, okay? I thought there's a lot going on mm. in Warzone 2.0. Uh, have to make yes, Christ Joe. Spinning. Uh, what other massive changes um, have we got in store? Because it feels like there's, a, there's so much has changed. Is it still a gulag? Do we still have circles? Is it still gas? I know there are guns, but do we shoot them? What's happening? What do you want to jump into first? Oh, Sandy, you go ahead. Go, go. We've made some pretty sweeping changes, I think, Ooh. to the high-level components of, of Warzone 2.0 to continue providing players with both a dynamic and rewarding VR experience. But Warzone 2.0, you're going to hear it over and over again today. It's about fun. This is about playing with your friends, having fun, you know, friends new and old. Maybe you're making them a game. And I think one particular feature that I cannot wait to see the streamers <laughs> Engage with will be our prox chat. Yes. Uh, so oh. it's coming. It will be in Warzone, and I, I, I there is going to be some amazing clips. <laughs> but um, I think That's Joe can be funny. Uh, tell us a little bit more about looting in, about looting. in Warzone 2.0. I'm, I'm listening to that. The yeah, streamers love prox chat. <laughs> They're like, <"Do> yes. <laughs> um, you know. In looting in um, Warzone 2.0, we still have the humming crates, you know, you can still travel around and listen for those. We still have the loose loot on the ground, but we wanted to add a layer of learnability and, and logic to our looting, right? So if, you, if you're outside, if you're a little kid, you fall down, you hurt your knee, and your mom's going to go inside, go to the medicine cabinet and get you something to a Band-Aid, Neosporin, whatever. So that's our looting. If, you're, if you need health items, <laughs> you can hit a bathroom in a building and there'll be a medicine cabinet. Okay, that makes sense. Um, if you want to get loadout items, um, there are these hidden caches throughout in between the POIs that are in ground, and you can memorize where they are because they're always there. So you can kind of start to oh, develop these through the map of how you loot. And there's this logic applied to looting. You know, you can find toolboxes that will have grenades and things in them. Um, and you find these other crates that are kind of like, it's as if the, the military that occupied the space came through and dropped off military items. Those crates are always there. So you can always have this reliable layer to looting. Incredible. This sounds really exciting. We go on a road trip through our Mazarin, quite literally, like have a, a route we plan, hit the gas, gas station, up, yeah. gas snacks. up. Yeah, pick up snacks, pick up ammo and all sorts. Okay, cool. So what about circle mechanics? I mean, this is obviously uh, a huge component of VR's joke. 
Yeah, I mean, the circle's been a staple of BRs. It's been really hard to move away from it. So we kind of talked about what could we do to mix things up with the circle. So we've got this new mechanic where the circle can actually split, almost like a cell splits, into two, three, or even four circles. And then those what the circles kind of close down. And what it does is it segregates teams, and you have these micro battles in those circles. And at a certain point, you're like, okay, we've cleared out our circle. Oh. We think we're good. And then those circles merge. They come back together. And you what know you have this heck? very directed fight of, like, as the circles moving you're like gearing up in buildings you're like here we go it's about to kick off and as soon as those circles hit you have that final fight so it's another kind of like twist it in could the be cool that we feel like is a cool world event that would happen like all oh, the circle splitting we need to do x crazy get in the car we're going now go i'm scared right, of like so, people uh, are high ground and uh, on like the middle circle already like, i guess so nobody would be me, there's so much change man i mean i'm ready for it but Joe, what do we got the gulag you know we've been experimenting with we've tried some crazy things with the <laughs> but the, the, the current version of the Gulag that we, we have running right now, where we're excited people to play, is you're not in there alone. You actually have this temporary alliance with another opponent in the map, and you guys, you have to work together, and if you can defeat the other team, you can get out. And after that, you guys are enemies oh, no. again. But for that moment, it's like, you're going right, to have to rely on some other. random. Do you use the proximity <laughs> chat to talk to each other. And the other That's thing you're playing around with is you may see a little bit of an AI presence in the gulag. So you kind of you have to be on your toes. Like you're you're really like, you're so enemy. bad. You're, here, you're so bad. Um, we're excited Flex for this. To try it and, and yeah, feedback. we're going to get feedback today, too. And and like Joe said, we've, we've been through some pretty wild iterations of the gulag, which I will not reveal yeah. here. But yeah. Uh, there's there's a lot in store. You're just gonna get <laughs> roasted yeah, by your teammate, um, really. Jack, I have heard uh, of a new concept coming to Warzone 2.0 called Strongholds. That will include AI that may impact how players get their weapons, etc. Uh, uh, can you clue me into what that's all about and if it's even true? Yeah, Absolutely. Me um, so strongholds are reinforced buildings that the uh, that the AI is occupying inside Al Masra in BR. And the players can choose whether or not they want to engage with them and assault them to get cool rewards, including free loadout items, which is one of the new ways that we're adding for players to get their hands on their best weapon. Um, we've worked really hard to bring AI into, at scale into Warzone 2, and you're going to encounter them in multiple modes in different ways. In BR specifically, they're in these strongholds, and if you get to a stronghold, you can find the location of a black site, which is going to have even cooler stuff in it, and you can fight your way from one to the next. Um, but in other modes, you're going to find the AI occupying large portions of the map and just kind of protecting different POIs in different ways. Unreal. Oh, okay. That's so pretty cool. Heard the rumors that Warzone 2.0 is going to have some very, very interesting new modes. Uh, would you care to confirm or deny Stephanie Snowden? It's finally time. <laughs> I have read about some new modes on the internet recently, <laughs> but one of the most exciting things about Warzone 2.0 is confirmation that an all new sandbox experience is coming at launch. I am happy to announce huh? DMZ. What's that? Call of Duty's extraction mode will arrive with Warzone 2.0 at launch later this year. I played DMZ for the very first time on my first day at IW, and to this day, playing it nonstop, the possibilities with this game mode blow my mind. What so is that? DMZ. I can also confirm that DMZ is real. <laughs> we're not going to go into depth on it today because we do have to keep some stuff in reserve. What I can tell you, though, is we've created a rich sandbox where you can define your own win condition. You infiltrate Al Masra, you accomplish your goals, and then you decide to extract when the time is right. It is played across the whole map, and the AI is occupying large sections of the map, and they are lethal opponents, and they do command your respect. You have to watch out for them. You have to work with your team. They patrol areas, they occupy strongholds, and they'll reinforce based on players' actions. And then in on top of all this, you can choose which mission you want to accomplish, or you can chase after a variety of, of activities in the world. And you can play this differently depending on your play style. You can go loud, like I always do. You can go quiet, or you can hunt other players or avoid them entirely. Well, or I'm you so can just decide, what it is. hey, I'm going to explore the secrets of Almazra and see what's there loot up exfil it's 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 totally up to player choice there and um i'm i'm really excited about the full scale of what we're delivering for this chapter and we want players to have an amazing experience in warzone 2.0 we've been listening to the conversations in the community specifically oh it's like escape from tarkov ricochet anti-cheat oh no shot play and beyond and Trust me, although we're touching on some of the core updates to the overall Warzone 2.0 really cool. experience today, and mostly focusing on BR, there will be more news to share over the coming months. 
this is only the beginning for Warzone 2.0. Charlie's like okay. right under I my chair. Warzone I can't move. Warzone 2.0 and DMZ in my life ASAP. Stephanie, when? Warzone 2.0 will be free to play for everyone on November 16th. Ooh. With the start of season one across Modern Warfare 2. Mark your calendars. That's about two weeks uh, after. <laughs> After Modern Warfare 2 launches, um, and we had 125 million players in the original Warzone, and I cannot wait to see all of you and hopefully more of you in Almazra for this experience. Wow, I put that and in my calendar right away. To see a Warzone 2 Battle Royale Alpha playtest happening right here behind us very, very soon. Yeah, the streamers are hot to trot, they're raring to go. Uh, we will see all of you in Al Mazar on November 16th, but don't go anywhere just yet. Stick around because when we come back, you'll see just what Warzone looks like when you're yeah, from typically the ground do that. for mobile. You're not going to want to miss yes! this, I promise. Then after that, mobile! we have live gameplay coming at us with all ah! our friends set up across the, each and every Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer. We've got Warzone 2.0, Battle Royale, we've got Warzone Mobile. It's all happening here, ladies and gentlemen. Don't go too far. Call of Duty next, brought to you by the GMC oh. Hummer EV pickup. That actually looks cool. The world's first all-electric super truck. Intel, built for the next generation of gaming. Squad up sooner with Xfinity rewards. Get early access like to Modern Warfare 2's open beta. Jack Links. Oh come on! Squad up come with on! Sasquatch. Jack Links. Jack is Links. Good with it. Eureka Ergonomic. Leading designer in gaming furniture and proud partner of Modern Warfare 2. A trailer. Oh shoot, that guy looks scary, bro. Oh shoot. Hey, 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 hey. Oh my. But it'd be so scary to skydive by yourself. The guy went tandem. It was scary, but. More players. Oh. Wait, isn't this. More authentic. Bro. These guys are running extremely fast. Oh my. More connected. This is for dance. No? Yeah, this is for dance. Oh. Oh. Price going crazy. Graphics are crazy. Ooh, I'm mobile, baby. Warzone mobile. What a jam packed day That's we've crazy. had here so far. We got Warzone 2.0 and Modern Warfare 2 already good to go. But finally, we're hitting something new here. Coming into mobile, we got Warzone Mobile 2 here for you. It's me, Beef Mommy, and I couldn't be more excited to be here with none other than Chris Plummer. And Chris, what do you have for us today? That's right. Today we are proud to introduce <laughs> like Call of Duty Warzone Mobile. Let's go, this is Chris. This real thing, and it's on your phone. For the first time ever, you can drop into Call of Duty Warzone from wherever life takes you. Let me quickly point out the gameplay you're seeing today is still alpha, so it's only going to get better. And for Warzone fans, you will recognize this, crazy this on your sequence phone. right away. I mean, honestly, it just gives me so much nostalgia. But wait a minute, Chris. Is that the legendary Verdesk? You know, this is where Warzone gameplay was born. And we're bringing the legendary Verdansk map to mobile for the very first time. Let's go. From its hallmark vistas. And these Verdansk. dense urban areas, they're just so much fun to play in. Wide open fields, ready for battle. 
in intimate, close quarters, combat environments. There's so much variety in Verdansk. It's famous for good reason. Teaming with fan favorite locations like Boneyard. Ooh. And Superstore. Even TV station. Well, I'm getting classic Call of Duty Warzone flashbacks here. Can you tell us more about the gameplay? Or, you know what, maybe just give me your phone real quick. Maybe I can see for myself. No? <laughs> you know, the team has a passion for delivering the most authentic Call of Duty experience possible for mobile devices. From the way you aim and move mm. to the weapon handling and the control responsiveness, all these cool. little details combined to make Call of Duty Warzone mobile feel best in class. We've made sure that the physics, the feedback, the sights and sounds, all those essential little touches are smooth and accurate. It's crazy you can it's play this on your phone. It's so true to form. Isn't that wild? You can imagine feeling that dirt compressing under the soles of your boots with every move. Or imagine those tiny uh, shockwaves of recoil where's the dive? moving through your entire body with every shot. In Warzone Mobile, these are the kind of details that we care about that make the combat feel airtight. I feel like I'm better than the guy in the that preview really here. Chris. And you know, it sounds like everyone's paying attention to detail and it's finally paying off. Now, when I think of Call of Duty Warzone, I think about strategy. Absolutely. There's a lot more going on than pure gunplay. For example, when you're out there exploring a the map and evading the gas circle collapse, you can try to sneak up on another player and pull off a finishing move. It's like okay. ultimate bragging rights. And if you're feeling more strategic, you and your squad, they can complete contracts, use that cash at buy stations. There's a ton of variety there, including lots of different abilities like bringing back a fallen squad mate. Now, that contract economy, it adds a ton of depth and strategy through risk and reward. Ooh, I superstar. really like that you brought that up because if you're talking about risk and reward, I think about the kill streaks. I think about the gulag. Are they going to be there too? Yes. <laughs> Everything you come to expect from Warzone, it's going to be there, especially kill streaks. This means you can deploy your big stick of choice, like you know, a precision airstrike. You might be able to wipe out an entire squad with it. So not so fortunate for them. But they're not necessarily. Is there a gulag? The oh, there is. We have the gulag, so here players can fight for a second chance. Bro, this looks so lit. You go down, you get to fight one on one with another down player, and you can earn your way back into battle. This is how Warzone Mobile plays out on a truly massive scale, unlike anything we've ever played on mobile before. For this reason, we're pushing way past the envelope on 120 player live players on mobile. Match is jam packed with our signature style. Goodness of gracious. So we are supporting up to 120 live players in the single match. That's wait, impressive. Wait, wait, hold on. Did you just say 120 players? Oh. Or do you mean bots? Because it seems like in Battle Royale, oh. Mobile, they're usually loaded up with boring bots. Oh my God. Well, we believe it's critically important and a lot more fun to play with real live oh. human opponents. Shots focus. have so been taken. Playing with nothing but bots, we hear you. We're talking up to 120 real players ready to hunt you down with real human skill. Shots and real fired. Human emotions. That is Call of Duty Warzone Mobile. And we hear you in the crowd. Everyone's excited, and absolutely, it is huge. And I don't think there's a game on mobile that can top that in terms of real player count, of course. But how are you able to even pull that off? We can support real player counts oh at dramatically higher scale than we've ever seen in other Battle Royale games on mobile because Warzone Mobile is running on advanced, unified Call of Duty technology. This is the same shared tech behind the console and PC versions of Warzone 2.0. It gives us a ton of advantages, like these incredibly high player counts, authentic Call of Duty combat and gameplay systems, and it opens the door to a much more connected experience across all platforms. So when you say more connected, does that mean that Warzone Mobile will share content and features that will be in the console and PC version of Warzone 2.0? Exactly. Delivering a deeply connected experience, it's been a strategic pillar from the beginning of development. Now, we know that your time is precious. Ooh. And your investment in playing is now recognized across Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2.0, and Warzone Mobile. Wait, how do they so do that? So wherever you're playing Call of Duty, it is time well spent, including on mobile. Oh, Even okay, so. Even your friends so. and chat are shared across platforms, so you can stay in touch with your friends 
whether they're playing on console or PC or mobile, wherever they choose to play. So you can type I to mean, your friends. That is so exciting. I you totally can level up your battle now, pass. One of the coolest benefits of having this kind of connectivity is that Call of Duty Warzone Mobile is loaded up with the same authentic Call of Duty weapons and operators you recognize from Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2.0. And whatever you get from the battle pass, you will see it on console or PC. It'll also be there on your mobile device too. Oh, that's cool. And the other way around works as well. You can rank up your battle I pass from really your phone. I love to hear that. And as a matter of fact, I saw some of the same weapons and operators being shown earlier today in Call of Duty Warzone 2.0. Are you aiming to make it exactly the same on all platforms? You know, that's a great question. See, the team's incredibly excited about how deeply connected and authentic the experience is in Call of Duty Warzone Mobile. And we'll continue to adapt the best content and features and innovations created across the franchise. But at the same time, we recognize that mobile is a very unique platform. Mobile has its own flavor, advantages, its own and flavor expectations. Sounds like the game will be tied into the Call of Duty franchise pretty nicely. And will there be mobile-specific events or content that is unique to Warzone Mobile? Yes. Above all He's else, a guess, the or else I will be fired. Ensuring Warzone Mobile is a world-class, mobile-first experience right down to its core. Controls are a huge part of it. It just needs to feel natural on the device, intuitive, and you know, native to the platform. A lot of it comes down to tuning. Separated crossplay to avoid imbalance. 100% they need that. And Android platforms exclusively on mobile. And we're avoiding the imbalance that comes with crossplaying between mobile devices and consoles or Bro. mobile to PC. Imagine, this allows our teams imagine to mobile, mobile players in a PC lobby. Like, that would be so bad. Field. I'm glad that they By didn't. By doing this, we don't need to compromise the tuning for any platform. This ensures a level playing field and more fun for everyone. That's now, good. keeping those controls balanced for all player types, it's super important. So whether you're the hardest of hardcore mobile pros, or maybe you're a console first player that's sneaking in an extra match during your lunch break, even brand new players to the franchise who need a little help getting into the flow of the game, we are committed to providing the most robust control options anywhere for a pick up and play experience that's accessible to all Can I use my backbone? I love that it. accessibility, and that means all my friends can get in on the action for a change, but how do they sign up? Well, it's time to get your mobile devices ready because I'm super excited to announce that starting right now, you can pre-register for pre -register free chat in the Google Play Store. Link in the description below. Signing up means that you can be among the first to play when a game launches Type next year. Type exclamation mark Warzone Mobile in chat for a link. Call of Duty Warzone Mobile. <sighs> With that being said, pre-register. Hey, we got Ferg on the horn, and I think he's literally the first one to pre-reg. Ferg. Hey guys, Ferg here, and I am thrilled to be one of the first to pre-register for Call of Duty Warzone Mobile. And now, you can too. Scan the QR code at the bottom of the screen. No, no, click my link, guys. Don't draw. scan this QR code. Click my link in the description. The more registrations we drive, the more rewards we can earn like special weapons, vinyls, and emblems. Plus, if we reach the top milestone of 25 million pre-registers, we're going to unlock a super cool secret reward you're not going to want to miss. What are you waiting for? Sign up using the QR code below. Dude, looks like you wait, hold on. Okay, so apparently, um, If you pre-register, you earn rewards unlocked on how many we people pre-registered. So, so if 5 million people register, you get vinyl, foes, flame, plus emblem, dark familiar. 10 million people register, you get the X12 Prince of Hell. If 15 people, million people register, you get the M4 Archfiend. And then if 25 million people register, you get a mystery reward. Interesting. So go pre-register, guys. Link in the description below. Exclamation mark. Mobile. Wait, what? What did I make it again? <laughs> Exclamation mark. Um, Warzone Mobile.
be so aesthetically pleasing and I think everybody at home once they also get their hands on it they're going to love it just as much as we do here truly uh Maven my good my good friend you've played more Warzone than most people on the northern hemisphere yeah How you feel no, it? eight hours a day for years it feels like it, it just seems fresh goodness man. the map like everything about it triple circles uh the water the boats I mean I was like kind of the proximity of my king for a while there but they see them <laughs> under vehicles trying to blow them up and set booby traps and now you're telling me I could do them and not only land but also the sea I'm with it. It's going to be something, man. We really have seen a lot so far today. Uh, we've so seen it's Verdansk. Of course, multiplayer there. And it's an alpha. And, alpha. Cannot wait. and you can, whatever you earn from the battle pass on console or PC will be there on your mobile device too. Welcome, so that's pretty ladies cool. Ladies and gentlemen, to the command center presented by Xfinity Rewards. We're going to be rolling the show through. Are you guys going to pre-register? Pre-register. Link Xfinity in the description below custom. or exclamation mark Warzone Mobile in chat. You're going to be grinding Visit the real game in the mobile version? Let's go. Slash rewards to get your code for early access to the open beta. It's free and it's easy to join. Guys, I mean, every time I sit down, I take a breather. I'm like, there's so much. But first and foremost, guys, before we get into this one, so many streamers here. We need to give yeah. a big shout out to Intel, who's powering all of the streaming PCs here today. It, it must Massive be free, yeah. Those guys. Pretty sure. There are two PCs on every desk. Explain. It. I, I couldn't believe it. Cloxy is here. Like, the fact that he actually made the trip out, I figured they have to have something special. The fact that you have a dedicated PC to the streaming side and to the gameplay side, and it's set up for this many people, Intel, thank you. Ridiculous. This is incredible. It's incredible. Ridiculous. They got uh, dual PCs actually, for everyone. Get into the gameplay, guys. I mean, Ali, you teased it a little. Yeah, we just played, a little. We a little, yeah. We played a <laughs> tiny bit. I can have an accent, too. She did. I'm getting mocked here. <laughs> <laughs> My bloody desk. We uh, we got to play a tiny bit yesterday. Yes. Pretty fun. But uh, now we get to watch 200 streamers, uh, some of the world's finest, quite literally from almost every part yeah. of the planet, coming together here in this crazy top secret location. What can we expect? It's going to get loud. It's going to get <laughs> incredibly loud. Yesterday, it was loud. And I believe, like, not even everybody had shown up yet. So now right. that we have a full building of all of these creators, all of these PCs, I'm expecting people to get up and start screaming, Miles. It's going well, to be insane. Be we have courage uh, from, like, headphones on. He oh, can be Ninja, look. Oh, oh, yeah, no, 100%. Like, Bobby Paw, if he's on a sub train or something, Lord knows what that's going to sound like. But... My boy, twist, my boy twist, Tyler twist. Blevins, Ninja here as well. <laughs> but like, I just, I, I think this is a testament to how pumped up everyone gets about oh, yeah. Call of Duty every yeah. year. Oh, yeah. Like the fact that there are this many big names. Just pre-registered. Let's go. In attendance. We're going to see some incredible Have you guys pre-registered? To the various modes. I mean, this is going to be, uh, this is going to be a real treat. It really is. I mean, and you've been around a long time in the Call of Duty world. In this venue right now, we've got streamers and players from, you know, all across North America. So it's apparently going to release like all next all year or some. Japan, Australia, you wild. name them. We are all players, over here. Member players everywhere. What is, how do you describe the vibe in the room right now? I mean, it's just incredible. It's a bunch of homies who love Call of Duty all right. in one room oh, getting ready yeah. to grind. And, you know, I was talking to them earlier. I was walking around doing the round saying what up to everybody. They're going hard, right? Like, I was talking to some of the Warzone guys, Repos. He's like, I'm here to fry. Zuma's ready to go. So well, I'm interested to see them with these new weapons and the gunsmith, what they come up with, especially our new game. I was like, Prisoner, it's going to be lit. Listen, as much as they're here for their love of Call of Duty, they're also here because they want that banger clip. Like, everybody oh, wants, yeah. like, you, you know, like, you're trying to go out and fry some of these big names, get a clip out on social your youtube whatever it's going to be so yeah i'm sure people are going hard in the paint or falling to their desk at their tim i'm sure we're gonna have a couple of those i'll go a little bit of that later on i think we're actually ready to hop into gameplay Dr. one of our first here and uh he's already down and out but we are playing i believe this is hard point and mercado nameless yeah Ooh. you know i didn't get to play this map yesterday but one thing he i shot his own teammate come on lupo it's a lot more vibrant than some of the M yeah. games that we've had in the past there's so many more colors and that's something that i always enjoy uh, especially with call of duty is when it's more vibrant oh. and you can see more on the map i think sometimes you go dev to dev and yeah it's like you have like your more realism like your yeah. grays and brows some will have a little bit more color but like this map in particular yeah the second we saw like the fly through of this yeah I mean, it, just it looks, looks nice and colorful i gotta say gorgeous yeah. it really does oh and i'm not that i had any concerns about the visual side of it because they knock it out of the park every year but oh no Jay. it's just aesthetically pleasing it is it's very, very pretty. That is, of course, sad. They didn't invite me, chat. Uh, you know, you can watch him stream this live. I want to uh, play. Every single member of, of the of the crazy. I don't even have a name for it. The stream pit here uh, called Next. All, of all my boys are there. Channels and unreal, man. Yeah, it's unreal. I mean, all these guys are going hard. You can see he's locked in. Uh, Talking a little bit about the game and the movement, though. When I first hopped on yesterday, the movement felt so much different than Call of Duty's in the past. Why are you not there? So, I didn't get slide invited. Cancel. You got to complete your slide. The dive mechanic it plays out so much different uh, when you're going into a gunfight. You can dive out of a window. Miles, it was a lot of fun. We were 
you're getting into the mix. We really did get into the mix. I also, I'm going to tell this now on air in front of God knows how many people, but last night, Ninja wasn't in the venue. I played on his setup. He <laughs> wasn't quite here. And I found there is an in-game, like, whisper feature. So I was sending messages to other creators <laughs> as Ninja talking horrendous, <laughs> like horrendous, horrendous trash talk. All very good natured, friends of mine, you know, but I'd be kind of weird to get that from Ninja, right? <laughs> yeah, does yeah. Ninja know you did this? He has no idea. I walk, past, I walk up uh, and no, slap him. I walked past him today and I was like, good morning, dude, how you been? He's like, hey man. Not he a single no word, idea. Ali, not a word. But... Not a word. I actually I actually got into a game against you specifically. I was I was on, I believe, Nate Trot streaming account. I don't believe that he's here today, but I was I was getting disrespectful with some people <laughs> on the map. And I believe that you were in my last game. Do you think we're getting in a left. I, oh, I remember hey, looking hey, at the oh. leaderboard and you That wasn't me, you that was Ninja. <laughs> I want to hear their in-game comms, bro. Ninja. Over to Courage now, he's having a, a good time. Ooh. And uh, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, he is, as much as he's like a fun, good loving, like everyone takes a jack, as just like this great nature guy, he is one of those competitive human beings oh, I've ever met. Like he gets pissed, bro. Passion, raging passion. And look, it's me on the right hand side. No, it's not. It's me. <laughs> What is I this? To say, oh, to it's like what left. Ant was talking about earlier about the game mechanics. Something else that what I noticed this? that I don't feel like I felt in other Call of Duty games. What the is heck? How kind of realistic the movement with your gun is, if that makes sense. Like, there's obviously always going to be recoil. Your attachments are always going to mess with that. But when you peek corners and stuff, the way your gun moves with you is very, very realistic. And I think that's going to be something a lot of these players are going to notice and have to get used to very quickly. And you saw a taste there of uh, the gun's so cool. Player, you get that kind of like over the shoulder, like tactical. Yeah, the over over the yeah, shoulder view was interesting. Of, like, it was it's different. Like realism, but like it just looks so exciting to watch. And when you you know enjoying like you know maybe seeing your teammates play or whatnot, it, it just looks so cool. It's a nice new feature here in the game. Uh, and sorry, Clint, this is the new knockout mode. Uh, I don't think you you might not I know what this I, means. I, I, I haven't seen this one yet. I haven't, oh, I I haven't played, played it yet. Yeah. No, no, no. I, I mostly I, I was watching some of the guys play. I just wanted to kind of live react and enjoy it. Yeah. Like, there's so much new stuff. Like I've just been looking forward to seeing what's going to be on the table. But let's see if Jack can actually step up this time. Come no, on, no, Jack. Happen. Just getting destroyed. <laughs> I'm sorry. Superior positioning, Jack. You are awful. Oh, was that too hard? Oh, he's my no, oh, no, 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 no. Um, yeah. okay. He's doing the classic. He's going to his set. He's like, <laughs> he's doing the classic. It was something else. It was something else. It wasn't, it wasn't oh, his fault. Oh, my sensitivity or something? What is it? The, Why do they still have it on him? Like, he's just looking at his settings. Like, I think that's the, what the hurricane. You, the hurricane. You, yeah. Switch it. The, there you go. Oh. Changes to Gunsmith and now having five so, attachments and not having, you know, it's... Yeah, so, you know, I saw the rumblings <laughs> on Twitter and stuff like that. Uh, I think it's amazing, though. I mean, when we jumped into Modern Warfare in 2019, when they introduced the Gunsmith, there was a lot to take in. But now everybody's familiar with it, especially grinding Warzone, switching up those attachments. And it's just a Ooh, better what did you just eliminate him with? It's just a right? better like, version of that, right? Like, the gun moves around with you as you're in there. You can switch out all the different attachments. And, you know, for the class Ooh, of weapon that you have, like, is this? you can change Who, who's it up and turn the right M4 into oh. an SMG. Like, I mean, that's that's really cool. Ooh, oh, this is, oh, that was nearly a Oh, that's Krim. Crim. That was nearly Krim six. gross. Uh, one of the, uh, yeah, the all-time greats in the competitive Call of Duty world. One of the, maybe, maybe the. If not the. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I don't know why I said it that way. I was, yeah, I, no, like the all-time great. Yeah. Ross, he's the greatest, but there we go. Swag now getting involved. Maybe one day, Rodney. To your point, of, and Ali, about guns. Yeah, Juliana Frazier, Jennifer point, Jones, and Big Guy is there. Thank you all for becoming members, guys. And then we have Scott Hurt. Hart, thank you for the dono. Godzilla, telling you, I'm pretty sure on the leak I saw a typical gamer label on one of the right, upcoming so skins watch for it even with the ak imagine man shout out to you gordon thank you for the five just then gaming dude thank you for the five as well you know some of these love the lately so glad that you're mixing up nine and a half all right let's go i'm glad you're enjoying the streams man big shout out to you gaming oh, dude oh god you know he's so excited about that and i want to actually i want to talk about Nick the there too i have no idea i think they would have showed him if he's there the rooftops like the new ledge how you can jump and then you can hang off the side of the ledge that's a new thing that you can add into this game you can jump from rooftop to rooftop and like you can jump further mm. than you think and i found that out very quickly like i would get to an edge of a rooftop and i was like i wonder if i can make this jump you <laughs> can make you ball. can make the jump you can make it well, across like, there. the map if there's tall buildings you can make it across the map without ever having to touch on the ground and i think for snipers that is going to be their absolute playground speaking of snipers pomage now who's having a great time here uh Maj I mean, the I, goat. we've seen a lot clint of, of the weapons so far but surely a sniper well, I, I, I heard Pamaj too. Like, I, I stepped up. I think it's when he was first walking in. He was walking with an irrational to people, and he was like, I'm going hard, bro. Oh, yeah. He's like, I'm right. going hard. <laughs> I could just hear, like, the competitive. He's, he's, he's going hard. Right. 
And this is uh, this knockout. Well, Courage's knockout team is getting well thrashed. Right now, Pomage's team obviously winning this one. Again, secure the ground. Oh, they're playing Warzone Cold Mobile. Bad boy. Oh, I forgot, friends. Here at Cod Next, it's all going on. Mobile gaming. Oh, I side of your screen. Excuse me. What is on that dude's on. thumbs, bro? I don't even want to tell you what they look like, bro. Even courage what the heck, dude? Do you see the, the gloves on the arm? Yeah, they're and yeah, professionals. The True professionals. <laughs> Wait, do I? I probably need to get this. I've been playing some COD Mobile, Diablo Immortal. Like, I've been grinding more mobile games. I have my iPad and I'm loving it. Do I need to get little thumb sleeves? I think, so. yeah. I really I think you should, yeah. You know, sometimes it gets a little bit slippery. I need thumb sleeves. What are they called? Uh, I'm about thumb sleeves. You're in the right place to ask yeah. about that. Yeah, let's call them thumb sleeves. <laughs> there is an army of oh, professionals. Oh, I'm looking into that. Though. That's actually an issue. It's like it's a little bit slippery, you know? <laughs> So they're playing some hardpoint here, and you, you know, obviously, us coming from esports side of things, we love hardpoint. Miles, we were talking about this morning when there's a hardpoint and there's some elevation above. Like I ate some shots. Dive into it, turn around, land on your belly, and yeah, absolutely Ooh. rise. So, you know, there are some movements. Lay down some cover fire. Speed demons out there. If you want to make some plays. Yeah, there's a lot of talks about you know the way slide works now. Yeah. Yo. Dive is back. I don't think it's, we're not officially. Mouse pad, pad free thumbs. It's kind of it's kind of a good idea itself. though. I mean, it's a really fun mechanic. It's uh, it's fast. If we get to see some gameplay with it, uh, I've actually been walking around talking to some of the sort of. The CDL pros were like, hey guys, try to, people are watching this. Try to dive yeah. a bit more. 230k, on, wow. Show us the dive. Show us the slide. Now we're looking for the right dive. Right out the window. Just dive out the window. Send it. <laughs> and all the windows are built to be diveable through. Like, that's the is way it on the Twitch game too? That's what Joe was kind of saying, right? Like, it, they've seen it so much in playtesting, and Nate goes into a window. Like, everyone sends <laughs> it out. So, oh, I just want to see all the exciting thing. moments you're going to have. Oh, here we go. Butters is going to be sniping there. That's the. So, we have the Hurricane. She's running over. Cool. That's going to be one of the other There we go. Testing things out. Trying to find the sneaky outpost. Where we go. Testing things out. Trying to find the sneaky outpost. Oh, it has way more views on YouTube. I couldn't. I was trying to see if I could break the slide. No slide well, that works out. Yeah, look at her face. Ooh. She's just like going around <laughs> test out the movement. Some of us runs right in front of her. That works out. Nick Merckx juicing it right now, bro. You know what I'm noticing on this map that I actually like a lot? Not as many doors. Just run through. Not as many doors. I think in Some general areas. is yeah. the overall vibe. Uh, I mean, most of the maps we've seen so far are quite small, very fast paced. Again, Jeff talking about that. You've got a very distinct feel. It's just like the battle oh, this map is very wait. large. Yeah. Way more intense action. Isn't this an old map? Like the invasion stuff. 6v6 is a totally different flavor. I mean, that obviously and yeah. excites us oh, more that, than that maybe it us. should most. Oh, I mean, we love it, right? Like, we, we're, we're here to see people go hard, uh, try to win, be competitive, and... Uh, Ooh, oh, okay. Another thing, we're seeing a lot of elevation on some of these maps, too. The snipers are gonna be Yo, good. Nick Merckx's yeah. feed uh, two stories, I believe. I, is I way cleaner than there, Call of Duty's. Why? <laughs> I hit it. Hit it. Look how clean his feed is. Look at that little stock. Did you guys use the sniper yesterday? Yeah, right? No, I didn't. I used it for it's a like whole cutest little stock I've ever seen. Why is, why is their feed so, like, in the same game pixelated too. in yeah, comparison? I, I can't wait for the sort of like anime skins and stuff like that, my cute little stocks. Uh, of course, <laughs> the we can put skins on individual attachments now when it comes to making some very, this very handsome, handsome looking oh, weapons. Oh, Dylan Price, speaking of handsome. Oh, good. also something we haven't talked about yet is the way the perks work. I actually oh, love I love, I love, I love, love the perks Because system. it reminds me of back in the day, the specialist, when you, as you get yep. kills, you get more perks. As time goes on, you're gonna have two base perks, you can pick whatever you want. As time goes on, Another perk. Ooh. Goes on, you're bro, I got to grind Call of Duty when well. this comes so out. It's, actually a, it's completely new. Look at his feed, bro. His feed is so well, crisp. I, think, I haven't, I haven't really played it yet to deal with it too much to see like how vastly different it makes the game. I mean, he's at the event, of, right? You're playing like the multiplayer experience. I feel like you get a couple perks you like, and you just sort of pick those. Are your go-to. Yeah. You don't really think about it, right? Like you figure that out in the first couple days or weeks yeah. of playing the game. Those are your perks. Now it's like. I feel like there's more decision making that goes into it, which I personally think is exciting. Now, I don't know what I'm going to be running, but, <laughs> but, but it, does, it does feel like they were saying, what was it that, you know, the different type of classes they were trying to put, you have your rusher. Kind, kind of like that says where you're at at the top, sentinel. like mechanic shop. Like they they want to, even if it's not like class based per se, like they want to kind of funnel it with that behind the purses, yeah, right? I think that's pretty excited. dope. But you can also make your own, so you can create it, pick your own two perks, your next one, and your ultimate, so you can, no, you know, figure out so. what you want. Oh, and, uh, Myth is there? It's nice having like a reward. Is that game, Myth? Especially when you're frying, you get extra perk. Well, yeah, I don't think that's Myth. Is that Myth? Base two. Yeah. You unlock one after, you know, a period of time, you get kills, you get points, you have game progression. I just saw the haircut. So, no matter how you're playing, you're going to get your perks eventually, but obviously, higher scoring games, you're going to get more. And it's just really interesting again. And the Tiered. And again, Jeff and Joe will come on the desk later on and talk about this in way more detail. But the idea that, like, yeah, the first two perks, they're fine. They sort of help out the gameplay. Okay. That mid tier perk, way more sort of impactful. Yeah. And that final perk, like, a kind of like the super perk. Yeah. That's not going to turn you into Captain America, but it is going to make you uh, way more effective. I kind of want to be Captain America. Right right now. Now. America. So they made it so everyone could stream. That's kind of crazy. Well, Symphony was just on screen, so. <laughs> 
I mean, the, the wagon on that boy. <laughs> what? There it is. The oh, wagon. Like, hey, yeah, it, two million views on TikTok, something like that. Like it's, it. <laughs> it's impressive stuff. That's what you're watching? In your free time clip? Uh, yes, it might be. It might okay. be. I'm watching it's Brooke's TikTok, you know? She's very creative. This is uh, a Search and Destroy, a Call of Duty classic here on Farm 18. Yeah, this looks cool. This is one of the maps that we saw in an Intel drop not too long ago. Ooh, let's go. So, uh, this is simply spectating. Why is it left-handed? Like, is the person you know, actually left-handed? Like, three-lane maps. This is one of those maps that felt like a very good hybrid three-lane map that does really, really well when it comes to a game mode like their Search and Destroy. Like, you have your traditional outer lanes, and they have their hidden corners, and they have their ways, and then that middle is just pure chaos. It's kind of like a little bit of like, a, it reminds me of like a paintball range with all the walls in the corners that there are. So I, this is probably one of my favorite maps that we are playing right now in the beta testing. And as you can see, everybody is having so much fun on it. I mean, four and five, everybody's doing it's pretty okay. Game. It's a yeah. close game. It's yeah. Aiden has 14 kills. I just saw the kill board. He's on the other team. Mason just realized. Oh, look at that. He just went on his phone, launched the <laughs> UAV. He's fully loaded. Look at the bottom. He's got all his perks. He is perked up. Quite literally. Come on, Mason. Show me something special. He is flying. He that oh, wow. That's oh. The oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. That's the Fennec. I was loving that one yesterday. Oh. That thing turns, that's an OG weapon. That, that turns people into super oh, close God. range, but Pawnee Turns people into soup. Smoked them. Nice try, Mason. We still love you. Hurricane OP. Hurricane. Hurricane. It's, so, like, it's such a different look. Like, when we're spectating these players and they're having gunfights stuff, like, the way the player animations are, the yeah. sound effects, like, the game has just been... Like it's everything we liked about. I, it, I like the game. I don't know why it goes to like a zoomed out, left-handed view when you're spectating. That's a little odd, isn't it? He looked very sneaky, and then he was just evaporated. I gotta say, the bunny hop is back and forth. Oh man, the bunny hop is clean. We know Sam Maru Octane. Gotta give him a shout out. He's gonna be bunny hopping all day. We got Myth on the screen here. What's he using them for? I think. Again, it, it, looking at these weapons, oh. you know it's an M4, but the configuration he has. I was using the bigger sight, uh, the double. Uh, the sight, I forget the name of it. Ooh. Like, uh, like the, the extra zoom. It's and of course, Kill Streaks. Cruise Missile back. Three. A lot of fan favorites, Clint. I mean, everything you would expect so from a Modern Warfare. Look we'll at your courage down there. Ah, that'll connect. Myth able to hit it. He's vibing right now. <laughs> but it's, it's crazy. Like, yeah, yeah, bottom right, you were kind of hey, mentioning, like, how different the guns are look. The same type of gun is based on the attachments that it has a while. As also uh, in in game settings where you can make your gun a little more narrow, a bit wider. But yeah. Oh, he almost clutched. You know, just create that sort of visual. Look, you want the game to be as appealing as possible for you. He's maybe doing pretty good there. So big to obscure the view. Maybe I'm you're one of those players. Uh, settings, personally. Like, there is a, tweak of how I walk, right? There's a lot of settings in this game. I'm going to get lost in that for the entire first day, probably. Once campaign hits, I'll spend about three and a half hours messing with settings and then getting yeah. that first mission. Well, I see Courage on a five street. That pop up at the top of the screen. It might have. Courage might be popping off. Oh, well, he just died there. So <laughs> take it back. Ooh. Ooh. Come on, Swag. Swag's dialed. Hit it. Swag. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, this sub looks like it's it's dominant. Oh, so all the sounds and everything when you level up guns. Oh, yeah. Everything is there. I mean, it's, it's I, the... I wish everyone could experience just this environment, Ooh. though. Like, as much as we're yeah. the gameplay and stuff, and how cool it's been. Because, like, a lot, of, a lot of these content creators, like, they're friends or they're familiar with each other. They play games online. But, like, Why aren't you there? I don't know. You're going to have to ask Call of Duty like community manager, bro. It's been a vibe. Seeing everybody going up, some meeting for the first time. Like, yeah. Never hit my I inbox, you know? We, we have interacted so many times on social. I've never met him in never person, him, dude. Yeah, we hugged smile. for a solid 30 seconds. It was beautiful. And it just shows like how hyped people get for Call of Duty. I was, yeah. you, I was like, I can't believe I still get this amped for Call of Duty after over 10 years. I don't think many things like bring everybody together like this. Yeah. It is uh, yeah. it's special. The beta starts tomorrow in case you've been living under a rock or if you've just joined the stream. I'm definitely going to have to play it. <laughs> one, of the, one of the two. One of the two. There's no in between. User interface being it's going to be a little interesting well. playing on console, but lower right hand side, just a lot more sort of clean changes. Of course, the menu system, which you might not have seen here on the on the main uh, COD Next stream, but individual streamers seeing them going through mm. the operators there. A so CUD cool changes a lot more of a streamlined experience. It's sexy. That's, that's not a lot of ways to describe it. I love that, especially like when you click start, you go and you look at your loadout, your switch weapons. It looks good. You can see everything. It's just right in front of your. Is face keyboard and mouse on PS5? Uh, digestible, and that's what you need. It's such a fast-paced game. Like I feel like there's like input delay when you. 
I'm yeah. surprised that like it doesn't obscure too much of the in-game screen. Yeah. So if like if I'm hitting pause or checking stuff out, I still want to have some kind yeah. of like situational awareness when I'm in game. Yeah, yeah. And I will say in terms of balance of like ARs and SMGs, of course, this is all of our like our first peeks into it, but they've looked pretty balanced so far. Like the SMGs have been absolutely disgusting up close, whether the AR gets first shot or not. Now long range, the SMGs haven't been ripping as well. The recoil gets insane at that sort of range. So I feel like it looks like the gun balance as well, regardless of your attachments and what configuration you end up coming with is fairly much I, I love that because I mean it just feels like sometimes it turns into this one gun that can do everything yeah. right? <laughs> and, and I, I think everyone appreciates a little bit of variety like an well, AR that's feels quite like an literally AR what this like game is because you could change your gun up to whatever you want right so well, well in a way yeah but like I think Tally's point like there seems to be a little more separation between yeah. your Like, I haven't seen the right. do-it-all gun just yet. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, we saw Aiden, of course, on the Mountain Dew green carpet, like, I want a broken shotgun. <laughs> and I'm sure he can make it. No, there's a lot of pros in these lobbies. I don't know if I would destroy, but I, uh, I definitely take out a lot of people. Like, develops. He, wants, yeah, he wants a sawn-off that kills people across map, that makes him move real fast. I mean, hey, who knows? Gunsmith is crazy. 2.0 even crazier. Well, I mean, we'll it, see if he can it do it. I mean, no matter how what? much work oh. this, uh, we've got the nerds in the building. And this is where if anyone's going to test some stuff, <laughs> yeah. by Find some, you know, weird combination that yeah, turns a shotgun into a sniper. This is the crew that's going We've to do it. We've only scratched the surface. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We've yeah, touched yeah. it for 20 minutes. Oh, what people are going to do with this gun. That's just not so, enough, is it, Miles? Not yeah. enough. No oh, my gosh, Charlie's on the floor beside me. It's going to be crazy. I need a good sort of two to three hours to really uh, get look at Look at going. Chef Tony. Yeah, look, this look is one good. of the most famous Italian men in the world. Yeah. Makes Metal. a mean stromboli. We love him. Metal Boots on the building. He's got the F4. He's Metal gonna Boots. Run, he's going to run this class setup from now until the next two years. <laughs> we talking about it. can be great to mess around with guns. Oh, Chris Crowder. I don't, listen, I'm not sure what's going on here. Chris has been uh, growing some sort of beard that's happening for the first time that I've seen him. He's, he's usually very baby-faced. Now I, he's kind of going for some sort of supermodel type thing, or maybe like being a, a, a rapper, singer. Handsome. He's a handsome he, he really is. He really is. A tiny little bit of a user interface there. If you hold a circle. Ooh, what is that thing? When you're on a ladder, you fast like that. Ooh. Ooh. Wow, what, what a clutch. Oh, 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 nice. oh, he's up. He's on his feet. Outer. He's on his feet. The gouch. The gouch. Oh, man. We will be playing all day, friends. All day. You know what? The iron sights here kind of clean. Well, yeah, how long are they playing? A lot of, uh, I mean, people like... You saw Zenny, you know, you saw Crowder, for those who don't know, you know, they work on the CDL side, you know, they're really in the midst of stuff during the season. They don't get to come to stuff like this that often and see all these creators. I, I, I imagine they're in heaven. I've seen some of the tweets clean. just having a blast meeting a lot of different people. So as far as streaks goes, we, we haven't seen a whole lot. Obviously, cruise missiles there, count UAV. Is every pro COD player uh, you know, like I mean, controller? The juggernaut is the, I think it's the final one, and it looks crazy. It's farming like, AFKs. Get a, get a grip. You are live at COD next. Uh, but yeah, there's a ton of cool stuff. And I mean, we're seeing Wilson's in there That's as well. That's what I was going to say. I love that. We're going to have a lot of fun. Chopper gun is back. Uh, there's, I mean, it's called, uh, I think it's called air support now, but it's uh, <clears throat> it's an AC-130. You know what I'm talking about, friends. There's a chopper gunner here as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're going to be seeing it all. Yeah, Miles, like, if we play against each other later today, when we get the free play, I'm getting a No, but, like, at, like, like the Call of Duty World, World Champion. <laughs> after the, after the like, they're game. all on yeah, console, yeah. right? Once the, once the curtains go down, we're going to dive on. Like, <laughs> Can you hear the chain? Yeah. <laughs> or not on console. <laughs> I mean, are they're all on <laughs> controller. To the yeah, desk. We, I, they can wheel me in the chair, but it's hard Like, not down. one is PC, right? <laughs> Here we go. Another oh, crew. Red man, how we doing? And what a shot. He got two. hat over the headset. He killed Nick Merckx. see you later, Nick. So this is the uh, SAE. air support where you're saying. Yeah, this is it's, it's, it's like kind, a of, like, kind of a lucky lightning strike. Oh, yeah, nice. What shot. is that what? thing? The Fennec, or it's a custom one. Wait a minute. Longer range, maybe? But that looks wow. like the Fennec. Yeah, that's the Fennec iron. That, that boy don't recoil. What? All right, Breadman's already found a winner. Yeah, Brad's got. <laughs> oh my! It does recoil, but it like doesn't. But he's holding that thing down though. <laughs> but yeah, he's right. Yeah. Yeah. He's, straight, he's, out, you know, he's on mouse. Good. Obviously, recoil long range. You can manage. Jesus. But it doesn't seem like there's a lot. He's just Ellis. putting them down. Yeah, cameraman, get in there real close. Show me the hands. Show me the hands. <laughs> oh, gun him. So we played this map yesterday in the three P mode. That was yeah, yeah, a lot yeah. Of fun Museum, yeah. This is this is a lot of fun. We saw a top down of this on socials recently. But oh, they're actually showing the hands. hands. You hear all that sounds? So sad. That sounds. It is a cool microphone. Scary, yeah. Can you hear that? That better be on my team. I mean, he is one of the better aimers I've seen, though. Like a lot of the tournament stuff, when you're talking about mouse and keyboard players, like he is absolutely nuts with it. So, not surprised to see him uh, finding some wins in the long range battles, but. I gotta see his recoil. What's this guy's name? So, what do you guys think about all these maps so far? What's, your, what's, your, what's been your guys' favorite? Honestly, yeah, I wish they would pop it up, like their names. <laughs> <laughs> 
Bro, this gun is insane. This is museum. It, nice big central area, essentially three lanes. I mean, this is popping this, off. Second story. We're about to go up there now. This is where Brayman okay. is. It, it's nice, man. We've got some decent lines of sight. Snipers are going to have a lot of fun here. We played hard. Point Bro, he's played 14 a limbs in a row. Courage and I clutched up. I'm just about to drop a nuke. Five. I had the prisoner on my back. I was sprinting. And I can hear Jack picking up three, four kills. Let's go, baby! Screaming. That's I'm the there guy. sprinting. I'd, I'd be that guy on the team, too. I, I'd be carrying. Yeah. It was... Bread it man? Was great. It was really great. We had a lot of fun. As a Bro. Local, you know, the opening break. He's going crazy. Like He's on a 15 streak, by the way. Excuse me. Yeah, he was frying. Uh, He's literally annihilating the lobby. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's stick with him. He's on 15 in a row. This Another cruise coming in. Bang! This is the Elgato replay uh, of how this all started. Oh, he gets two again. Wait, Just ripping them. It's the same two people. No, sorry, this guy. Oh, it's a replay. Oh, is it? Yeah. I was about to say. Yeah, a he was on. Fi he was on 15 in a row. I thought he got another one. I thought he wrapped his streaks. It's all good. Clint. Oh, you're, you're, dude, I basically just, up, I basically just pulled a symphony, dude, when he was casting the pregame lobby. Oh, and it was yeah, a good I thought he earned another one. Uh, Bro, he's going for the nuke. Well, last thing I saw was 15 streak. I was fired up for oh, my guy. So he put a, oh, so it's, it's M4. His just sounds crazy. I think it's the dubbing of the audio. It might be a stream, yeah. but either way, <laughs> it's a stream. That boy is ripping metal. Uh, so, okay, it's kind of cool to see there on the bottom side of the screen for a moment there how the perk system works. He's already at his second tier of perks, uh, which I think was spot 19 up. limbs. 19 kills. Let's go, Breadman. And of course, he's working his way towards that final perk here in this uh, hard point. Yeah, it's not that crazy. I thought he wrapped streaks now, is it? He, he, like is he, he is <laughs> annihilating everyone. Is it 25? Does he get a nuke? Farming. Yeah, he's literally work? farming. Somebody kill Breadman. Wait, do you guys see the Lordy. movement, though, that I was talking about? Like, how when you're moving, like, your yeah. whole body, like, it's, it's different than other Call of Duty games. It's very hard to put into words, but once you get your hands on this game, like, you can tell everything... Might be first person to drop a nuke, 22. fairly stationary, but, like, everything is moving with you at all times. And you can see it, so that's... Yeah, cool. like, you, know, you can see... 23? The yeah. Players are going out there, and they're, like, jiggle peeking. Your hips and your head. Yeah, like, now. everything's... So don't throw, don't throw, don't throw. Don't don't throw. Get a better understanding of how that looks and you'll see that a little bit later today just but like the physics of the character the physics yeah, of the character yeah. has been reimagined so it's different uh, yeah throwing those shoulders <laughs> come on bro be a I mean, everyone's yeah. like Shakira, his team's getting bodied but <laughs> he's farming i mean it's the animation i've been comparing so Shakira, yeah oh 24 look how smooth the animation why you switch so much why do you switch oh is this what it looks like to be on the other side of the bread man <laughs> yeah, that's what I was actually wondering. Wait, 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 wait. We're gonna get up there and kick his ass. Are you? Oh, oh I think that was Breadman. That, that was Breadman. Yep, yep, I believe that, that, that was Breadman. He's on a 25, 25 kill streak. Got that thing locked down. Just quick, get up there and get him. Just get, go back in there. I mean, this is this is going on the timeline for sure. Breadman's got clips for days. Bro, why did you switch? Oh my throw! <laughs> just, I just need my. What? Loaded in, like trying to check everything out, run some different guns, and Brent Man's just up top. Yeah, no, no, he, he just like smoke. dialed in. I don't think he said a word. <laughs> Is it thirty? Hit it! Ah! Oh. ADS not quick enough there. Two posted up on the bridge, just shutting oh, him down. But. So he has the pistol on Miles. Remember, we were playing with it. We turned into a fully auto sub yesterday. Yeah, that thing. Wait, so, what? But yeah, so the, of course, Gunsmith is ridiculous. 2.0. Yeah. You can turn your sidearm into something pretty mean. And then, of course, the ledge hang mechanic. I'm hanging on ledge. Clint, you were singing the Spider Man song earlier. Hey, man, yeah. not too. If Spider he was close to it. It might be 25 yeah. for nuke, like gun kills, <laughs> or 25, see, like, or 30 gun kills. Thing and, and, and just, I mean, it's something that we have to learn now as Call of Duty players. I have to now look at funny ledges and see where players are. Yeah. I don't know why they swap. I was trying out some of the field upgrades yesterday for the you know, short amount of time that I did have. Maybe they I don't have the nuke in so yet. Just like throw it down, go hide in a corner, you can see when they're pushing at you. It's you hold your lit. own. You hold your own flank at yeah, that. Yeah, you got your own choke points. That's great. And again, another thing. Go. Oh. Isaac, uh, he nearly got both of them there. Of course, Isaac, one of our streamers coming in from uh, from Europe, made the long trip across. Yeah, I was wondering how many people we had here internationally. I've casted over him in a bunch of Warzone tournaments. He's made some deep runs. Guy's a monster. But as he's just trying to hit some snipes and try some of the different weapons out, Bredman's uh, kind of been annihilating Hello. the lobby. But there we go. Another shot going to hit. Bang. I'm already really liking the sounds of these guns. I'm liking yeah. the right. crosshairs look. Like, this is something I cannot wait to get. Oh, hello. Bredman just got a three piece, and yeah. then Isaac followed up with the fourth in the feed. That was very satisfying. <laughs> Oh, yeah. They are just tearing them apart, it feels like. What's that field upgrade he has there? I can't tell from here. Uh, that could be the portable radar. Uh, that might oh. be, yeah. 
So that little bad boy uh, kind of gives you sort of a oh, he's sniping now? sort of UAV, but it, the radius isn't obviously great, but yeah. hey man, in a Oh, you can go up here? Dude, look at that bullet here, just hit like right oh. on the pale of the window. Nick Merckx. Dude, Nick Merckx is getting farmed? Second Question one, mark? I was using this yesterday. It's a powerful shot. It Got feels, a couple of it feels, Oh, he's oh, getting away. Oh, somebody oh, saved him. Oh my god. It was Breadman. Oh my god. Nick Merckx was trying to assassinate <laughs> Isaac. All right, get us out of there. Over to Proud. Here's the Fennec. You run so quick on this thing. Meow. I mean, look how different this POV seems versus like the sniper POV. Yeah. Right? Like yeah. you're moving. You're I going. That. Oh, oh, wow. It doesn't matter, okay. though. Okay, Sean Jay. Sean fries him. Again, this is that sort of idea of like the different, uh, maybe not play styles, but kind of like player attributes here, yeah. what you're going for. I'm, you know, Crowder is obviously, he's way more aggressive, you know? He might be hitting flanks soon, but the way he's kicked himself out. Whoa. He's in the mix. I think something that you could learn a lot uh, that all these creators are going to learn very quickly is there a lot more pass on the map than you know about. Like, on this one specifically, behind Crowder, there's an underground passageway where one of the flags are, and, like, I didn't even know you could go down there. Like, I had to wrap the entire building before I figured out how to get underground. So there's a lot more angles and a lot more passageways than I think a lot of these creators are expecting, and that's why we're going to see possibly a lot more assassinations, <laughs> possibly a lot more credit corners, and people just popping out of literally nowhere. Crowder is locked in. And that is the power of the Fennec. That player didn't stand a chance. Yeah, he's in the perfect area. To use Bro, people do be liking the Fennec, huh? Going out, getting peaks. Yeah. Strange combat. It's a lot of fun to use this one, man. I was using it in the majority of the games. I mean, they're not doing a great job uh, in game. They've got the lead for now, but again, classic Dom. Capture the flags. UAVs and all sorts of killstreaks coming up. No one's, uh, I don't think it was going too crazy with any of the killstreak choices. We did see Crim6 with a VTOL earlier. Again, classic from Ooh. Yep. Uh I, I wonder if we're going to see any more today. Bro, that oh, reload. Yeah. I can imagine. I mean, this is a chance to test every yeah. run through, try different weapons. I mean, as much as I Ooh, say that, we have hip fire, baby. Hard. They're going for crazy clips. They want to drop bombs. They want to have high kill games. So <laughs> some are going to find stuff they like, a little combination they feel comfortable with, and they're going to send it. But Crowder, yeah, he's in the mix right now. Movement, I mean, he seems pretty comfortable so far. Just the little hop chows. Yeah, the bunny hop freebies. Like you're just hopping around. You can even hip fire this one. He's picking up a ton of kills. He's he's loving this class setup. He switched it up from last time. So one of the big things, I mean, before the show started, I walked around and talked to as many of the streamers as I possibly could. And I was just like, you know, you've had a tiny bit of time with the game. How are you feeling about this? And almost every single one of them said, I'm really struggling not to slide everywhere. They've been so used well, to doing that. Get used to it. From um, MW19 all the way through to Warzone when, you know, we're on... I'm actually there. glad. It, it, so it's slide canceling out. It's not the same. I can say that just from all the wars that I've played. Like, it, it's going to take, like, my hand, just the muscle memory of it. Like, yeah. I'm just so... I've been slide canceling now for years across the map. It's just going to take a little getting used to, 100%. Like, yeah, but I do think my now. hands are going to be very happy, though. <laughs> I'm not happy. Yeah, I'm so happy that, that, that yeah, slide, slide canceling is out. I'm sorry if anybody likes it, but... Honestly, yeah. It feels yeah, like a gimmick it. mechanic. It's a really great mechanic That's for good. escaping. The slide gets you into different positions. Obviously, I like the leave of my head. You know, the the, the, the ball, the ball head. So I think the diving thing's gonna be good for me. Just like a bowling ball, you know, Miles. Just or sending it through a door, sitting it through a window. Maybe I uh, diving into someone. You think I can knock somebody out that way? Or if there's an attachment for you. <laughs> you, yeah. <laughs> like a, it's like a unicorn like a type bayonet power. Or something. Yeah, bayonet on my head. <laughs> Okay, that sounds sick though. Honestly, Hold on. uh, if the devs are listening, let's think about that a little bit. <laughs> a bayonet dive kill. Oh, oh my god, I want that immediately. I'm thinking like, uh, you know, I've, I've got this idea of like, you know, Yondu from Guys. Oh, oh, he's got a big side. fin on his. What's side. happening on the right side here? Blade. Absolutely. I think. Oh, Guys, remember, okay. exclamation mark Warzone Mobile or click the link in the description below. Pre register for the game. And if enough people pre register, you get some pretty cool free reward. How deep it is. Amazing. It feels like there's no drag in the sniper. When you were using an ant, did you have to leave your shot at all, or was it, it a like direct it, it hit? It felt like ah. an invasion, like I had to leave my shot a little okay. bit, but that could just be because I'm rusty. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was, and I was trying to shoot across the map. That's a, but you can get some feeds, man. Like, I got a couple collapses with this gun. It's super powerful. Sniping his back, friends. Not to dub. Snipes feel fast and fun. Oh, my. What? Destroy. Wow, Destroy dropped 64. Bredman dropped 49. He's got double the score of everybody in the lobby. Ooh. All right, all right. Look at this. Oh! oh. 
Oh, is man, Destroyer a controller door. player? There's a lot of windows on that map as well. A lot of glass above those door frames. I found on, uh, you know, keeping the teasers out of it, but like opening breaks and stuff. A lot of sweet nade spots already. Uh, yeah, I, it's, I can't wait. I cannot wait. A little peek at the menu here now as well. Of course. Ooh, oh, peek at the menu. menu. So much. So much in wait, Warfare 2. Wait, didn't Destroyer uh, used to play Fortnite? Am I crazy? Shoulder, keep the show running. Jess, you're down there with Zuma. Tell us how Tommy's doing. Miles, that's right, I am right here with Zuma, Tommy Properado himself. So, I mean, you have now had your first taste of Modern Warfare 2 here at COD Next. What did you think? Oh, it's incredible. The game feels super smooth. The gunplay is awesome. I like the time to kill. And the maps are dope. A lot of close quarter uh, uh, gunfights. And, uh, you know, I've been having a blast, man. The chat's loving it as well. They're loving it. So there's so much to talk about, you know, new modes, new maps, changes to the gunsmith. But what really stands out to you? Like, what are you excited about? I'm really excited just to get the competition going. I mean, I'm excited for the CDO, and I heard them talking about rank play, so, you know, I'm really excited for that. Um, and Warzone 2 looked incredible as well. I was talking to Repulse, so we're going to be the Warzone duo this year, so I'll be bouncing around between the both, but I'm just excited for something new, you know, a new game, and it's been a lot of fun to play, and there's so many amazing creators here. Um, and just thank you to everybody, and thank you to Call of Duty for the opportunity to be here. It's awesome. And then, you know, real quick with Modern Warfare 2 on the horizon, what does the year ahead look like for you? Man, just a lot of shows, man. A lot of flanks, a lot of streams. I mean, the content's going to be pushing all year. So excited, man. Zoomafi's going to take over, and we're going to have uh, we're gonna have some fun, man. We're going to have some fun. All right, well, thank you so much. That is all from me for now. I believe I'm handing it off to my dear friend, Lottie. Lottie. Thank you so much, Jess, and it is so good to be here. My name is Lottie. First time on the desk. First time, of course, being in this incredible Hi. arena. I have a lot of uh, wonderful folks on this desk, but... It is now time to chat about an epic giveaway from our friends at Jack Links. Each <laughs> like Maven's like, hi! includes a brand new copy of Modern Warfare on the platform of your choice. Delicious Jack Links limited edition products and brand new epic in-game items that I promise you'll be dying to get your hands on. So check this out on how to enter. Looking for an epic way to celebrate the launch of Modern Get jerky! Jack Links has got you covered. Goodness you gracious. You the chance to win the ultimate Modern Warfare 2 supply drop. Keep Why is there Sasquatch? The for the Jack Links Sasquatch to appear on screen. If you see it, grab your phone and scan the QR code, following the prompts to qualify for entry. Tune in to Call of Duty next. Squad up with Sasquatch and level up for the ultimate viewing experience, courtesy of Jack Links. Bro. Terms and conditions apply. Watch out for the satchmo. All right, folks, so keep your eyes peeled to spot the Sasquatch on the screen throughout the show. Scan that QR code and enter all your information for a chance to win. Sorry to hear that your favorite but sports guy. Like Wishing your, your family all the best, all right? Yes, of love your way, brother. We also have Jeff and Joe on here to talk all things Modern Warfare 2. Of course, our multiplayer design directors here. And we're just going to get a bit nerdy, to be honest. You know, bit we're nerdy. Bit I am so excited to talk about it, but maybe I've got to ask you, what do you want to dive into first? We have uh, the two guys that are going to answer our questions. Well, here. first off, by the way, you guys killed it in the opening you of the did. show. Well, thank you, you know, it, it started you. real smooth. I'm sure nerves are going a little uh -huh. bit, but it was it was awesome to see. But uh, I know we're going to have gameplay. I'll probably play Fortnite in like, like 15 minutes stuff, or so. I think one thing I kind of want to chat through is just there's been a lot of significant changes. You guys are always looking to how to kind of tweak the wheel a little bit. Can we chat through kind of the perk change and where your head was at with regards to that? Because it's it's a big change. It's interesting. Yeah, you know, uh, perks haven't really been touched for a long time in the series. Um, and I guess by nature, they're passive. And so um, most of the time we found people just uh, probably just you know, on the ground the behind that me they like, like, on my chair. They kind of forget about this. I three. said that earlier. That's me. Yeah, like, I, I find a few I like and like that's my class. There so we, go. we just wanted to come up with a system that was a little bit more engaging. And so we we grouped them into three different categories. Um, you get two to start with and then you pick a third and then you pick a fourth and they're uh, they're rewarded af as you play. Um, you really like how they per uh, they they um, proc, proc at the yeah, end, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, an announcer comes up, and tells you what perk you got, and it kind of re-engages you with perk, what's perk, available, perk. right? And they're earned through time and score, so eventually you'll get them. And you're not gonna, you're not gonna, it doesn't reset on death. Um, it allowed us to to kind of like create a couple more powerful perks and put them at the end because you're not going to have them the whole match. And there's some interesting depth there where you can say, okay, UAVs are really powerful early match. Like, there's different things you can do where you're kind of like, if you're one of those players who really wants to noodle, you're like, okay, I know these What's aren't What's the noodle? Excuse well, me? I, I like, I, I guess, listen, it's very different, but I, I'm also a big, like, RPG guy, so I like the process of, like, unlocking things and earning things. It's just, like, at the core of who I am. So I dig that, just, like, 
the progression over the course of one single map I think is very cool. Yeah, it just feels good. It feels good. And it feels good to remind it what you have. Yeah, yeah, no, no, 100%. Oh, and I guess we didn't touch on, actually, is the packages, right? From, like, we're talking a lot about the theory crafting of what yeah, yeah, set up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, we actually packs. have these defined packages. So early on, you just say, you know, I want a, this play style. I just Defined packages, huh? And then later on, when you're like, okay, I, I like that, but I want to noodle a little bit. You yeah. can hop in and create your own packages. Ooh. You know, that, that, that kind of, um, it really, people can see that through the default loadouts. Um, and Picking we've packaged them up. in, based on those kind of player behaviors we were talking about earlier. I like that it shows. We've, we've like shows where people are at when you grab the... Uh, default blade ults, but we have six with this one. Okay. We found two for each behavior, and so... It's actually um, huge. Those perk packages are um, already in there, um, and it's something different in this game. We actually allow you to attach a field upgrade within that, um, within each loadout. And so it's a little so bit do you have to extract energy, both prisoners then? To us that you're kind of more creating your class. It's exclamation mark Warzone for, Mobile um, if you guys yeah. want to get the link um, to pre-register. So people in the in the beta should really game has a lot of content. Oh, for sure. Loadouts because we put a lot. You guys want to see me stream this game tomorrow? Those, um, play. Well, I'm curious in like play testing. Did you see like a? I'm sure everyone has a way they view themselves as a player. Is this like, him? You want to start as more of like a sentinel type? Did you see like as people got more comfortable with the game, like an evolution towards maybe a bad? Is this Tim or am I? What did you notice tripping. when playtesting these Tim. different types of things? Yeah, I mean, I think overall most of our players are rushing. Timmy, <laughs> you're not you're not wrong. It depends <laughs> on the circles you run, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know there there are these other players, and and we wanted to just make sure that you know we're supporting all of them. Um, and so, you know, some of the field upgrades can be more um, sentinel and trying to hold down positions. Um, but that's why we added in the DDoS, like we said, to kind of just say, I've had enough. I want to pause all this stuff and make it go away. <laughs> yeah. um, but we also leaned into... I love his shirt. I'm not going to lie. ...can um, facilitate this kind of siege gameplay. But. Now, we talk about the rushing players, right? But we also... I didn't know that Tim, pacing, like... The movement, you know, what it looks like, how it feels to be in-game. And when I got a chance to get on the sticks yesterday, something I noticed is it is a little bit slower paced, right? Uh, we're going to be sprinting round, not sliding round. And I think another thing I want to talk about is the dolphin dives. I've been diving down <laughs> escalators. I strongly like, prefer sprinting around corners. Trying to figure out, can I see bombsite B or A? Like, As opposed to you know, it, it's sliding around corners. It's with the movement and how it feels. Uh, what was it like making that? What was Timmy, 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 Timmy. Because the feel of the game is huge. Yeah, I think, I think fluidity, and I mentioned it previously, is like really, really important, right? But we did make some small tweaks, right? Like slide has a little bit more of a hang up so that people aren't just sliding around the map so that they're actually moving through spaces, checking corners, and, and kind of like pacing themselves. But the general movement of guns should be almost exactly the same. And Jeff and I regularly check in. We're like, okay, how, are we, how are we doing? Like, let's look at last game. Let's look at this game. And we try and be consistent in that regard. But there have been these small tweaks. And the dive is one of those tweaks. The ledge hang is one of those tweaks. Um, and those will change how people move through a space, right? You won't throw yourself over. Do you get electrocuted? You that wall first. Yeah, I love the ledge hangs because, uh, you know, just testing out yesterday, being able to kind of ledge hang and really use it as intel as well. I think when it comes to multiplayer and, and competitive side, that's kind of where I'm at here. Uh, Husky, I think it's just Android SMD, at the moment. Uh, just being able to know where people are, give that intel to your team, peek that back down again, making sure you're not getting your dome ripped off by a sniper, of course, uh, major stuff here, but... And exciting that the fact that you can get your secondary weapon out and start to put a bit of damage in and, and help out there. So in terms of ledge hang, where did that come from? What was the idea behind it? You know, why is it so special to have it in the game? They already showed Warzone honest, Mobile. I talked about it a little earlier. Face planting too many times. <laughs> parachuting yeah, in, yeah, yeah. just missing that ledge. And you're like, nope, that's frustrating. Let's fix that. Um, well, we've all been there. Like, I'm curious why they're not showing like Ninja and, and, and like and Nick Merckx and, and stuff. Just, like, I wonder if they want to hit the button to like activate refuse to show their yeah, feet on shoot, stream or something. Like, falling down, it could be so frustrating. Yeah. So I mean, really, that's where it came from. But yeah, it was, it was also the high mantle too, right? Like late when we were developing Modern Warfare, and then or you know, are they just given come out? Um, we had these walls and things. We ended know. up turning up the mantle height in Warzone. Okay. And it it didn't feel as polished, but it allowed people to get over walls they otherwise couldn't. And but like I said before, you kind of commit, and now you're like throw yourself over a wall and get mm, shot. It's a full revive, huh? So the high mantle is definitely like get up, you can peek, or you can just double tap it and pull yourself over if you're in a hurry. Um, it just adds that 
that extra layer of like I can be a little bit smarter about how I move through the space. That's a that's a good note that um, you know we make all of the equipment, all of the movement, and all of these things for scalability, and we have to kind of check ourselves that everything oh. we put here is going to show up in Warzone. Well, now so, you've got this like metaverse of like there's so, there's so yeah, so it's a big kind of like I was saying earlier, right? It's like not hard, man. I'm sure. It, it's like you think they should have never moved it, WS5? And, and make sure it all stays. I think in they check should have. Mason Knob, thank you for becoming well, a member. Like, I guess for me, when I view it, well, what has been the one thing, at least for me, that really separates Call of Duty from a lot of other shooters? It's like, it does feel... I just so felt cool. with Sly canceling, it's like a gimmick, a right? That too. You don't need to be an amoeba. Like, it's, it's a learned like gimmick, too. You gotta, like, learn it. You wanna be some realism to it, but, like, how can you add that realism and the ability to... I mean, think about... I don't know, 10 years ago, what you were able to do with just like interacting with the map. What oh, I thought that was a good it's peep. It's insane how much it's changed. We had to argue to get sprinting into, uh, I think it was COD 4. I'm sure, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, we didn't have that. And so like just the evolution of where- Yeah, it's, it's come along. Oh, it's so it's like it's like a GoPro, <laughs> this view is yeah, what they're pretty, going for. Pretty special and something else that's a bit special as well is the fact that we have all these content creators behind us. We have an Elgato replay for you guys. Elgato <laughs> replay! Just Everybody, raise up now, go! Exactly what went down here, and Prison Rescue is going to be a really exciting one, of course, because you have you know, that, that, to get that objective of, done. You need to go rescue really the prisoner, and carrying them out is going to be huge because that icon does disappear. Didn't I watch this before? Or is, or is Myth doing the exact the same rotate? At knowing that somebody's going to have to My run tripping? this prisoner back and extract them, and having that defense to be set up later on okay, yeah, okay. completely and utterly changed the game into that defensive ah, ah, mode. What was the kind of makings behind that? So, so it, was, it, was it wasn't kind of supposed to be in the game. Was glitched. Yeah, that's we what I'm saying. Chaos. Different iterations, and we had these problems where we're like, "Hey, the modes around rescuing these stone mountain, the go." They weren't able to, right? We're like, "Hey, do this heroic thing," and rounds just kept ending in elimination because it was so hard. And that's why we added the the um, the radar sweep that you get when you get the prisoner, and that's why we took the icon away when you pick the prisoner up, because we were going through, and we used to have we tried with one prisoner. We tried. With Look at the menu. Right next to I like the other. menu so like. We tried all these different iterations. Clean. And it took a while before we, we everything kind of clicked. And you often when you're making game modes, you don't really know. Like some of them pretty quickly, you're like, oh, there it is. Yeah. But this one took a lot of work, a lot of finessing. And and then we finally got it to where there is. They're just changing feeds. I'm just watching people running. Replay we saw. Not a single actually, fight. It's going on. While we were talking earlier, I saw him actually there we go. the prisoner and I like take that. a way to extract and yeah. have that run. And that's what we oh, want yeah. hero run. Oh, yeah. I'm just thinking about like how crazy it's gotten. Like I, I don't envy <laughs> you guys at all. I mean, I do. You have great jobs, but like the helmet the cam. You have to think about like everything within this sandbox. Like from when you're trying to make a new mode. Like how is some new move? Every time I look back, it's because I'm looking at Charlie on at my feet. I was gonna affect ground war invasion. Like. I think at every game you have that moment at the sleeping. end of the previous one. You're like, okay, <laughs> how do we squeeze more blood from the stone? Yeah, right, right. Like, right? And it's like. But then you start iterating and trying different things, and, and you do kind of like, all of a sudden it's ballooned, and you're like, oh, no, we have to cut stuff. We have too much. Yeah. I mean, Jeff, Joe, this is a pretty hard question, but just to kind of wrap things up here, you know, I think when, when you talk about Call of Duty, when you listen to feedback from players and, and different generations, they always talk about that nostalgic feeling that they get when they get on the game. What is it about Modern Warfare 2 this time around, this title in particular, do you think that is going to bring generations back years to come and say, look, Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2 excuse me, was my game and this is why I want to play it year in, year out? Oh, this yeah, guy's freaking out. Oh, weird. my gosh. And I know from, from working on past games and people speaking so highly of these different things, and, it, and um, it's kind of where you're at in your world and your friends and things like that. And so for us, we can't Ooh. really control that, but we, we, we try to lay out um, kind of, I don't know, for the lack of a better term, like you're kind of laying out a nice meal <laughs> and you're hoping that everyone enjoys it. And, and um, from all the systemic play with all of our equipment. Some people like iron sights? All these different What's the downside systems, of we're just hoping that fans find using like a crazy ways, red dot um, to play the game? What's the um, downside? I don't know. What about you? You just want it to be I mean, fun. I mean, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah. Like, yep. Because I mean, nostalgia, you got to probably tune some of it out. Like some stuff, it, that's tough. It's, yeah. You yeah. don't know what's going to hold on to nostalgia, <laughs> right? You don't know. And I think one of our strengths, is, though, is that we, I run into people all the time and they're like, I'm an S&D player. Yeah. I'm a Warzone player. I'm a Plunder player. Like, you know, like I, I love TDM. That's my, I just play that. And so it's interesting that we're, we're fortunate to be able to make all these different offerings so that people can come into our game. And they're like, I love big war vehicular combat. I'm going to ground war, right? 
And so I think that's a, an advantage that we have that people can find ooh, their place, ooh. the thing they love, bring their friends ooh. in. And then years to come, they're like, I remember that. That was awesome. So. Yeah, a bunch of different experiences for sure. And I've got to say, the fact that we have... I like that. I, dude, I, I really like how clean everything real. looks, though. We're seeing it for the first time. There's so many questions. Is there going to be rebirth? Well. I'm not I sure. I know what some of the challenges have been. I mean, it's popular. Like They'll to develop probably bring game, it back. Uh, to really get it to the point that it is now where you are comfortable to show it to the world and reveal it. You know, what are some of the hardships been along the way in this ride? You know, I think the big kind of elephant in the room is just, you know, a lot of this was made from people's homes, you know? Um, yeah. You're looking at people's art and, and work that, you know, people in their homes. Well, that's kind of a cool way of thinking about it. Room. It's wild. It's wild. I work out of a yeah. shed in my backyard. <laughs> um, some, there's people in their mom's basement. I bet it's a cool shed, though. Not really. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's you know, that's funny. The, the, the fact that we can get this done through, you know, I can see what you're saying, X-Lite. X-Lite, you big Call of Duty guy? Um, and keeping everybody up to date and, and so many different studios, not just ours, um, uh, you know, all these different Activision studios to kind of... Blaine, stop spamming and, and you won't get put in timeout. Make sure that everything is, you know, good and, and great. It's, it's, um, it's What's up, Derek? Tricky. Yeah, I think it's, a, I mean, that's, a, I think it's a great segue. To Domination looks good. It does look good. Team, and we're up here representing that team, whether it's the multiplayer team, the engineering team, the animation What's up, Tats team, our team. Tata Tata they're all Tui? specialists in what they Tata do. The Tata fidelity Tui? in our view model animations, the guns, everything, the art and the maps, the design. Are you playing? Uh, uh, I'm not at the 66 event. They make type maps. They make these huge ground war maps and they put it all together into this massive big map and everything needs to be It would have been fun. Same. And so all, I mean, all we can do is thank them and, and do our best. To Will you be streaming when it drops? Do you guys want to see it? Like positive stream from a creative standpoint. With oh, like look, it's Nick. The fact that everyone was in the office and like everyone was kind of. How like does Nick like always manage like to just have his eyes show on stream? Ideas. Like when everyone's maybe not in a room and like maybe one idea kind of takes precedence. When he's like, like in it, you know? Not so far. It looks fun. I'm excited like to play it when I get a chance. There? Yeah, I think a lot of I think a lot of people were worried that it's gonna have third um, person. Kind of like um, I think it's going to have a. Um, um, people, we just found that everyone. I don't know. They kind of said you could toggle it, but I don't think you could toggle it during like just normal matches. So maybe there's like a game mode for it. Make the game better. And yeah. they're you know consistently working way too you know too much, and we're like, hey, oh, calm down. We're, yeah. we're good. Let's get you know. No, it drops um, for PC so next weekend for the beta. What I heard in some cases, like productivity actually like went up, which people yep. didn't expect, and like yep. now people are downscaling offices. <laughs> so I was kind of curious if yeah, you just had like a lot of. I don't know superstars kind of show up and yeah. pop out some really amazing stuff. Yeah, it's 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 tricky because, you know, um, we've just now been coming back in and getting kind of that kind of co community yeah. in the yeah. office, and that has been um, a great way of kind of solidifying the game and getting people back sure. in. And, Less and mechanics they get good at. You know, I like that. Big hoots and that it refines what you have to be home, good at. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. We get people in the office. We get them in the big pit, and we're all playing. And Gold like, star. Yeah. yeah, you get that feedback loop yeah. of like, I made good stuff, and someone's happy. Yeah. 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 I like how Nick Going just kind of dipped out. I think of how he only wants to play what Dom. Oh no, he wants to play Fordham. Bringing all these exciting factors to it. I'm thinking of like bare bones you know in your shed maybe it's like let's go like, baby just things on just brainstorming what is that process like what's the game mode are you going to try watch? first uh probably domination behind this brand new game putting those ideas domination's down like my favorite oh they're future. playing mobile oh well, that's a big question uh, <laughs> i mean one 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 aspect we used was so this is um, warzone mobile to, uh, guys and this is coming to phones next year i think really just like somewhere around there that's what they're thinking yeah. um like, so if you guys want to pre-register, do exclamation mark Warzone Mobile in chat, or you can click the link in the description below. You can play this on your phone. And whatever you level up in the battle pass will cross over to your, your console or your PC. So go check out Warzone Mobile. And so, go like, pre-register. Really Big shout out to them for sponsoring the stream. Permutations and how that can play out. And so we figured if 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 we can get that to come and and play out in a lot of different ways, we can make a really deeply replayable game, and which should you know make everyone really happy at the end of the day. Nah, it seems like everyone's having a blast so far. I mean, this just this in general. It's got to uh, it's got to be pretty special to see just this many Kate careers here gas up and join the game. I mean it's been absolutely Ooh. incredible. Honestly Jeff Joe thank you so much for being here giving us all the insights letting us nerd out a little bit ask all the questions that we're dying to I'm tempted to play a controller for this game. About time right now to head on over to But the keyboard and mouse is so fun. More about Cod Mobile. We've got be probably do keyboard and mouse. Matt Lewis over there. Let's take it over to them and see what I don't know I so if you're going to hinge on on All right all right. Thank you so slide much. Canceling. I, I think it's a back to the like I think it should be more about aiming 
in positioning. Xfinity Rewards. And it's time to finally drop into some epic Warzone mobile gameplay. And joining me here, none other than Matt Lewis. I've been so excited to bring you into this stage. He is the Vice President of Product Management for- I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick. Thank you, guys you got so this. much. I am super excited to be here today. We just have some awesome, awesome gameplay. We have some cool new surprises for you. So I'm just really looking forward to sharing this moment with you and with just the entire Call of Duty community. I'm so excited. I'm just ready to get into action. And obviously things are just heating up over here. And it really is impressive what you've been able to pull off here. And watching someone play, it looks great. It feels great. It's running it's as if it's running off a console, to be honest. It's true. How did you guys make this from the ground up? Yeah, it's 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 a great question. So one of our game pillars was what we call relentlessly Warzone. I like to think of it this way. There are a set of emotions and an overall gameplay quality, something that's felt when you play Warzone. And for us, you know, that's something, it's a product of these proprietary combat and movement systems, the Verdansk map, tons of vehicles and some unique Warzone mechanics, things like the Gulag and in-game loadout drop. So you put all these together in a pot, mix them around, put some magic powder in there, and boom, Warzone. So games, they can try to match this recipe and they can spend a decade, you know, iterating and testing and trying this and that, but they're just not able to quite get there. So for us, being on the same technology, it means we don't have to tinker nearly as much. It's just an incredible advantage for us. So how was the team able to do it and just really pull off everything that you've had here so far? With tons of coffee. <laughs> no wonder why we don't have any more coffee here backstage. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's the truth. All the coffee in the world is how we were able to do it. No, you know, one of the things that I just love about this project, it's, it's, a, really, it's a really great mix of talent and experience. Um, and for us, that concoction was what allowed us to have this kind of great end product. Uh, so for us, you know, there, 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 there are four major studios who are working on Warzone Mobile. Activision Shanghai, Beanox, Digital Legends, and Solid State Studios. So our philosophy, it's been to mix together really amazing Call of Duty console and PC developers with some of the best mobile developers in the business. Because that's what we want, you know, an authentic adrenaline pumping war zone, but something that is ultimately in this made for mobile, amazing, super polished mobile experience. It's been so much fun watching all of these streamers today. And this game all right, what happened when like I was a gone? really great time. What is the best way for our viewers at home to guarantee they will be the first to drop in and play Call of Duty Warzone Mobile? It's a great question. It's a great question. Um, so for us, pre-registration is going to start today. We'll have a little bit more on that later. We're super, super, super excited. And if you're on Google oh my. Play, if you log on to the Google Play Store right now, you'll be able oh to... My. to um, to start to pre-register. If you're on other platforms, please keep an eye out on all the if social If you move your hands all crazy uh, like, bro. The social channels live now, so follow, comment, all that, all that, all that kind of good stuff. And we're coming soon on the Apple App Store for pre-order. Um, we have some incredible rewards. I'm gonna talk about those maybe in a few minutes, but maybe for now, kick it over, check out some gameplay. Oh yeah, I can't wait to go and pre-register for myself. I'm just so excited, but that brings an end to our coverage of Call of Duty Warzone Mobile. And honestly, it's been such an amazing, great time here. But obviously, before we do end all of these, we're gonna try to see what kind of fun all these streamers are bringing up over here because we are taking up on the screen right now. I mean, this ends with us just trying to introduce the game, but obviously every one of us we want to see the gameplay. We want to see everything it's that's crazy happening that here. And they put Verdansk the on mobile. Person to talk about everything that is happening here on your screen right now. Oh man! So when I'm looking at this gameplay right now, for me, one of the things I love about Warzone is that vehicle play. The vehicle play, the movement, and the combat systems all tied together. I'm Bro, a his little finger player. gloves. I can't do the claw myself. So when I see other thumb players, in particular on the vehicles. It's a soft spot for me. I just feel great. Yeah, I mean, I feel like a lot of the players right now, even if you're Ooh. not on mobile, you just see this map and you go like, you go back way back 2020, 
and you're just seeing this map Verdansk. It's just you're basically having a little bit. So of Warzone right now is not for dance. You used to play this map, and you get to play it here on mobile. And so I feel like it's just so exciting to finally see this map back into life. And really, we're just ready to play. I know, yes, we're in alpha right now, but I played the game yesterday. It feels amazing. Hundred percent. I th I think you nailed it. I think the team is really, really, really happy with where we're. Is COD Mobile still its own thing? Yes. Process, we typically think about due to uh, be it, stages, COD we're in the second stage right now. Where Warzone we're Mobile and, and COD Alpha, Mobile are two separate going things. They're going to operate at the same shortly. time. Uh, so for people who are interested in getting their hands on the game, the best way to do that, to pre-register now, oh. follow, our, oh. follow all of the channels oh, on social, there'll be some them. great updates there. That's a lot um, of finesse. We just have loads of improvements, loads of surprises too. We just have some super cool stuff coming in. New features. Where's in his Caldera right now? Got gotcha. you. Uh, Gunsmith is looking Wait, absolutely. How did I say mobile? I players who are familiar with it, they're just not going to believe what we have coming out with soon. Warzone and Mobile is coming out next year, but you can pre-register right now. Exclamation mark Warzone Mobile in chat, already, or click the link in the description. In, checking out Warzone Mobile, and it looks and feels amazing, as you can see on your top left screen. We were talking about this beforehand, right? One of the POIs that we really love to talk about is Boneyard, because oh. for me, in my experience in Boneyard, it's great. It has so many chests you definitely can get a lot of money but the moment that you drop in you already know there's a bounty on your head most likely me boneyard too. for me is my favorite should i play some fortnite guys player, i like to equip two things i always like two primaries for myself a shotgun is a must and i like my shotgun and my sniper people make fun of me for it but that's what i love boneyard allows me to do both those things i, I tend to like to hide out myself in some of those little airplane shells wait for unsuspecting people to come in and you know sometimes i'm lucky and sometimes i'm not but that's me boneyard all the way the fun thing for me too we've been noticing some people who've been noticing bobby talk about this a little bit earlier is you know being able to go back into some of those points of interest that you like in particular ones that were former um mp maps and previous call of duties it's just one of the things that makes warzone awesome uh i know people were talking earlier like oh my god superstore 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 Oh yeah, speaking of Superstore, I mean, I like dropping in there because I feel like I'm going on a shopping spree, mm. grocery shopping, all the weapons that you need on the ground, they're over there, you know, but the thing is, it's in the center of everything, you're in the middle of everything, so if you want to go and just go away into safety, you're going to have such a hard time because you're worrying about people up top, airport is right there, Boneyard is right there as well, so I feel like for me, like since we're seeing Boneyard for right me, now, it's I kind really of like a like spot because it's right off to the side, but you still get really good loot as well. Totally. Well said. And for me, one of the things I love about... Hi, right, guys. A um, is yeah, go check it out. Of different All right. Um, link in the description below. I think to close out the stream, I'll probably play Fortnite for another hour or so. So uh, let's jump into it, man. On the streets for free. Yeah, the stream was sponsored by Call of Duty, so shout out to them. Let me change the title like, once more. All right. A big lump of knobs. Were you able to slide cancel before? No. That's why I don't like it. Charlie, what do you want? What do you want, my little baby? What do you want, little baby? What do you want, little baby? Hey, Charlie, come here. Oh, 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 oh. 
He's literally the cutest dog ever. What kind of chair do you have? I have a Herman Miller gaming chair. I'm sorry. This isn't great. I don't have any weapons. My weapons are cheeks. I didn't mean to do that at all. I hit the wrong button. I have the worst loot ever. Wow. I need emoji for the chair? Wait, what? I need emoji for the chair. Bro, what is my loot? Oh, me. Let me just fed me. What do you think the numbers are to no build to build mode? Like, what do you think the numbers are? You guys think it's like a massive, massive difference? Like more people probably play no build now, right? Holy. 
I got them moves like Jaeger. I got them moves like Jaeger. I got them moves like Jaeger. Do 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 Build is for sweats? I don't know, I run into a lot of people that aren't sweaty in build mode, so. See the comp changes for next season? Yeah, it's interesting, there's no FNCS. Might be the perfect time for me to take a break from build mode. Yeah, the new Gwen skin is gonna be sick. Didn't hit him, what? One more person here. Where'd they go? Probably ran away during that fight. you play other games James I have been playing the most other games I've ever played in the last five years recently open your eyes homie Are you? I'm doing good, man. How are you guys? guys season two i should do a stream on that today bro he, his skin is like same color as Is this guy?
Yeah, I have 222 crown wins. Really? I just hit into that? Shots. Oh, here we go. Do 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 to eliminate me by clouding me. Bro, this guy's the best thing I've ever seen. I want to eliminate the last four. I, just, I had so many opportunities, but that guy kept... I think there's a guy here. Man, there's somebody here. I'm so confused. Where is this guy's loot? I eliminate him here? I did.
I bro, I can't take your wall. Omi has the best ping I've ever seen, dude. You have the best ping I've ever seen. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I don't think I've ever met anyone with better ping. I was able to take none of his walls once. Holy. You should be winning FNCS with minus 10 ping, you know? Close to a 20 bomb. dead. Wow. Bro, that there's no way that just happened. There is no way that just happened, dude. Bro. I just got cocooned into a Kamehameha. Are you kidding? <laughs> Bro. Oh my god. Dude is a menace. You're the go, bro. Oh my god. What a menace, chat. What a menace. <laughs> that is actually so funny, bro. I got locked up, bro. I used it. I used my cl cloud to get in too. I used my cloud to get in, which made things even worse, because I couldn't get out. Oh my gosh, bro! Homie, just I just honestly the Kamehameha was a uh, just the cherry on top. Truly, Samara's home. I'm just gonna go hug it. Samara. Eating humans not allowed, Charlie. 
I'm going wide angle. Come here. Come here. See, so Mary got me a coffee. What is that? What is it? I'm so confused. It's good, but what is it? Oh, it's a pumpkin spice latte? Samara so never gets coffee. I it was fun. And today she got a pumpkin spice latte for herself. And for me. And for me. So. I've never had one before. She never had one before. So she's going to be. Fired up, man. Yeah, so <laughs> I wish I could give you your own mic so you yeah. can talk. I said she's gonna bring Charlie to the beach and then she's gonna be running around with him. I can't believe how that last guy eliminated me, bro. I'm not even mad. I'm impressed. I'm genuinely impressed. Like, I have zero anger towards him, you know? I need you to do the weekly quests. I want to get to the last part of Snap. Snap my Snap Fitness. I got Charlie like, Charlie's almost five months old. So like he's, he's still very much a puppy. You have five dogs, Victor? Five? Five months and he's that big? Yeah, we got a big boy. Um, everybody that sees him always says that he's gonna be absolutely massive. They're like, look at his feet. Oh my goodness. And we're like, is that not normal? <laughs> is that, is that, is that supposed to be bigger or smaller? Like that is some big old feet, bro. That's how you know I lined it up when I hit a 180 shot. What are the weekly quests? Bounce off a crash pad and fold nine or more stories. Oh, wait, did I complete every other weekly? Okay, remind me to find a crash pad, guys. If I see a crash pad, remind me to take it.
The building you knocked? Okay, it comes. That's why it's so good to have you guys around, you know? Companionship and you guys are the goats. Fall nine or more stories, okay. Uh, bounce off. Oh, so wait. So this is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my fudge. You're the worst, bro. You're the worst. I just want to get my challenge done. Your gravity, Avery. Oh my God. Bro. I gonna lie, but I have died in the two most ridiculous ways. Where's Charlie at? Yo, should I use this camera more, guys? Like this wide cam? You guys want to see that? You can see my room better. You see the llama o's. My Reese's piece of cereal. already know. Check out that, 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 that big boy right there, bro. Fingerprints are a menace on this thing, by the way. This thing is, this thing's diffy, bro. This thing's diffy. You think we'll get a second one of these for TG Plays? What, Charlie? What? Come here. Come here. Are you fired up? <laughs> okay, I don't know if Sarah can have caffeine anymore. Sarah's losing it over here. That was pretty good. That was pretty good for training, right? What should I teach Charlie more? I should just do a stream where I train Charlie. That'd be funny. What? Right? He knows sit? Yeah, oh he knows sit very well. Oh my bro, it's still you. Tripping me out. Teach the teach him if you drop booty he won't go for it without permission. I yeah, I need some I need to uh 
research the best way to do that. Because that's a really good one. And one that I've been trying to teach him because then you don't have to teach him leave it as much, right? If you teach him that one. If you teach him to just not go for food when it drops on the ground. Stay? Oh, he actually knows stay. Teach him how to jump? Bro, he's like half cat. Teach him how to be John Cena. Would you guys watch a stream where I, I train Charlie? Teach him how to do shake. That's a good one. Shake-a-pa. I've been carrying my love for you. We need a Charlie channel. Teach him how to shake his booty. I'm sure I could teach him that, honestly. Yeah, I don't really want to make a channel with Charlie. Um, I think he would be amazing and people would love it, but um, I don't know. I feel like filming it makes me take a little less attention to him. And then like, I don't know. I just love spending time with him, you know? He could be Super Charlie. Super Charlie. Ba -da -ba -ba. Stream here or there with him is okay though. I agree. Where's the countdown, TG? I, I mean, it's three days. I'll be sharing for like 30, 40 more minutes, probably. Crown win check. Be ending the season with like 222 crowns. Rechat, who, who do you think I've been talking to? Clean Harrier. Myself? I'm making up everybody's names and questions. Is Charlie out of swim? Yeah, that's still a work in progress. Guys, what is my mythic here? Like, what's my mythic at the plant? Does anybody know? Are you gonna stream tonight? I'm not sure. Maybe not. I streamed Valorant last night. We did our uh, placement games. We got put in flat one. Yeah, the two shots all right. I, I like him more as the season goes on. I didn't hit him, what? Oh my. You just got finessed.
No axe flyer. The the channel with Mean Samir is still on the way. It's just I don't know, man. It's just taking longer than expected. And it's it's on us. We set up a whole different room in our house for it, so. Kami hami mami ma. Kami mami mami ha. Hey TG, are you a Korean ramen eater? My son is asking. I love Korean ramen. Love it. I haven't had any since I went to Korea like three years ago, but I, uh, I miss it, man. I miss it. Has it been three years? Does anybody know when I went to Korea? Can anyone look up that Korea vlog video? Wait, why can I get in? Why can't I get in the car? That was weird. These bushes suck, huh? I went in 2019. Oh my God. It's almost three years. What? Bro, life moves way too fast, man. You appreciate what you got, guys. Almost died. Oh my, I put the cloud in the wrong spot. That was almost bad. I wasn't trying to be fancy or anything, bro. I literally just had it in the wrong spot. Goodness gracious. Are you using double movement? Yes, I'm using wooding. Play zero build? Do you guys want to see me play zero build over build mode? I don't even well know if Omi was aware I was in his car. Oh wait, that was an NPC. I've been carrying my love with me. Kami Hami Ma. Kami mommy ha me ha. A kami mommy ha me ha. What you were trying wasn't working, man. I don't want to be the one to tell you about it. It's looking a little rough.
Oh, me. I can I can't eat that All right, well, that's answered fight I'm gonna let them fight for a sec you go over here there's one on top there's one on the bottom Supply drop over there. He's one shot, bro. Fudge, man, I did the wrong order. Gosh, bro.
I've been carrying my love for you. You've been carrying your love for me. Uh. Easy. Easy dubs. I'll probably play one or two more games. Probably just one more game. Birori yuhi, baru aku mi, baru aku si, baru apu bi, I like apple bees. Ba 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 da ba 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 da ba. Oh, Samir got me lunch, 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 lunch. Depending on the emails you have, you can have four to five. Take access in the game, yes, that is true. I've seen that. I've seen that thing. Wow, this sauce did not come out the way I thought it would. Alright, well I gotta shake this thing up. You guys like when you guys get a salad or something, what I typically tend to do is is put the sauce on. Put the lid back on. Give it a nice shake. Yeah. Really gotta spread the sauce. sauce. Is that ramen? No, oh, I wish. Actually, no. This is really good though. This is a salmon salad. Did you do that to your chipotle? I like when everything's mixed up. You know, sauce in the salad. Hey, you like that, Leo? Come on. Don't play. Don't play, bro. Don't play. Your name's Leo, number one salad tosser on YouTube. I've seen it, dude. Yeah, yeah. Oh, now it's just stew. Oh my gosh. Piece of salmon just broke off from the main salmon. Oh, that's good. I've never done it this aggressive. Okay, Liar, you're an OG, bro. I see you, brother. Day one, baby, let's go. I love to see that. Are you guys in school right now? What's going on? <laughs> Aggressive salad dousing? Okay. That, that's enough. Ah, right, that's how uh, you guys are banned. Oh, I forgot what game mode I was playing. Whoops. That's a robot, bro. He almost fooled me. Can't tell who's real and fake anymore. Okay, I have to fall nine. I have to hit a pad thing from nine stories, right? How do I do that? Seeing as I can't build. Is 
Anybody know how to do it? near a cliff. Oh, there's actually a pretty good spot. Rave cave? Mmm. Not what I meant to do. Wait, I got like no jump propulsion there. I swear humans are easier to eliminate than AI because humans will like be more predictable in where they stand. Is this nine stories maybe? Me on top of that is nine stories. This is probably not nine stories, right? It says bouncer crash about and fallen off nine stories or more. count oh! oh it counted let's go I flew Kahami mami kami ha Kami hami mami ha A kami mama 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 Oh my god sent I really did I didn't even mean to I meant to mental Truthfully Great stream tonight I don't know yet man I'm gonna have to speak to my uh my creative director Samara Break it up, you two. When season four, it's on uh, Saturday. Saturday night until Sunday. There's so many chests here. It's actually stacked. It's actually like a little ridiculous how many chests are. You don't stream with Samir, I'm gonna cry. Oh, I can't, I cannot promise that. Samir doesn't really stream anymore. in the pipes. Got the relic shard, let's go. Attune this shard in the right biome while I read my favorite book, The Scientist's Search History. What is Zero Point doing? How to fix Zero Point? Ah, uh, emergency robot therapist. Oh my god. 
like the storyline is going around this like AI chip now, right? Is that what the next season is going to be about? What's your favorite basketball team? The uh, Toronto Raptors. Seeing as I'm from Toronto. Kami hami mami ma. What's in your mouth, Charlie? What's in your mouth? What's in your mouth, Charlie? Yeah, what's in your mouth? You should do a live stream Saturday night. Include Samara. You're such a great couple. And do you think what next season's gonna be about? Thank you, man. So funny. What's that noise? Uh, I don't know about Chrome. There's gonna be Chrome everywhere. It's gonna be a Google Chrome collab. I don't. It's a weird way to tease the season. If we find that last relic shard, the scientist is going to buy me a new solid state drive. <laughs> solid state. Bro. Very interesting quest line. She wants a new solid state drive. How did I almost lose that? Honestly, it would make sense if I lost that fight. I had a green. Or I had a gray. Do you plan on streaming through downtime? Yes. Has Samara cosplayed this skin? No, Samara! I have a, a video idea for you now. I need you to uh, cosplay this skin. This one. Yeah, this is my favorite skin. I'll be carrying my love for you. Oh, whoa, whoa, Charlie, what? Uh, he's jumping up on the desk? I've never seen him do that before. He's learning. Wait, how am I supposed to align this? What the heck? What? The, the skin? All Calamity. Yeah, she had the gravity. But she's the one that I won the 60k with. So I don't like her because just the gravity, you know? I don't know if I could attend this relic shard. I gotta try. Oh me. There we go. Oh no, I can't kill it now that I did that. Not good. I'm dead here for this. Amy tells me you attuned all three shards. Somebody's been reading the Shardonomicon. I mean, probably her, but somebody's been reading it. Go to the temple's main chamber. It should have somewhere to combine these shards. Come on.
funny how some of your most viewed videos are pranks on Samara. Yeah, that's funny. Bro, what is happening to me? Fortnite did a bad job piping up the next season. Yeah, I think it was pretty lackluster the way they did it this time around, but they can't always hit, right? I guess. No, it wasn't open. I take too much damage if I stay. I could probably finesse it, but still. Hello? Someone has performance mode on. Dude, I like, I. You generally can't see me. It's crazy. I don't know how he was shooting me. Like, I couldn't even see him. Been a minute now, I'm back. Been a minute now, I'm back. Yes, sir. Here we go. Dropping this track because I got this killer flow. Yo, you want to shoot me from really far away? I said, No way, Jose. Here I come all day. Hit you in the head with the boogie bomb. Okay. And then you was dancing. Why you dancing? Foe, I don't know. Hit you again. Then I shotgun you to the head. Then you back to the lobby, friend. Hey, okay. Calamity hit you with the jiggly, biggly bounce, billy bounce, a. Hey. Jiggly, jiggly, wiggly, go. Fully maxed up snap. Look at that. You see the person who broke your XP record? Yeah. The, I mean, the problem with the XP is that. Here, here's the thing. The problem with the XP is that. XP scales, so the more 
higher the higher level you are the more xp you need so when it comes to end of season challenges and especially these level up tokens if you're level 700 you need a million xp to get the next level to be my record all you gotta do is collect three level up tokens which is so dumb easy right if it was all the same xp my record would still hold because i collected the most level up tokens and i did the most challenges but just with the way the xp work it's kind of a shoe in if you're a high level so there's that so it's not really like yeah i lost my world record but like you know if i got to level a thousand next season and collect two level up tokens i would beat it you know but i mean if you if you consider the level up portion of it part of the world record then yeah thousand people with a thousand heroes I'm going fast with a thousand giros I want to complete the vibe in quest Cypher getting a skin yeah he's getting a skin I do think they need to remove robots in this game, like a lot of them. Blue. Blue, yellow. Yellow, orange. times I died doing this thing at the start I just thought it was like a tile pattern I didn't know that they were trap trap sensitive you know kidding me terrifying yeah this season wasn't my favorite I usually like every season uh, I think what redeemed this season in my eyes was the Dragon Ball collab other than that I thought it was a pretty tame season especially for being a summer one so, that's my opinion. Amy and I have been at Synapse Station studying this relic situation. 
The seer point is definitely, probably intentionally summoning these relics, but we're not sure why. Fortunately, or unfortunately, another relic has just made landfall on the island. Maybe this one speaks zero point. Let's make this a nice, clean relic extraction, okay? The Dragon Ball stuff was, like, clean, you know? Like, that was just fire. Oh, why can't I mark this? Bro, there's so many parts. Is it worth it? Do you get anything or is it just XP? Like, I want to complete it just so I know the storyline. You know, but. At the same time, I don't. Travel 500 meters while sprinting. You do 50 a pop, essentially. Six hour stream again? No, this one's going to wrap up after this game. Arms. What do you think of the snap skin? I thought it was pretty clever. I actually really liked it. The arms are interesting. It was the last time you changed your pickaxe, like yesterday. American stream with you next no probably not snap 10 out of 10 because it's my icon skin okay are you a, an action figure I might be streaming later to, tonight I'm undecided Jasmine. Well, let them know that uh, I appreciate your support and maybe I'll stream again today. We'll see. That's true, Tranton. I might have to take today off because uh, tomorrow will see me through the weekend and then. Also, I'll be leaving next week for a bit, so. You're not a published intellectual with a very extensive DVD collection, but you're strong. Can you eat clawberries if you're not damaged? I don't think so, right? So we're gonna have to do this. No, I need a little more damage. by the 
strange human custom Travel distance while swimming. Gosh darn it. Epic. The robots are malfunctioning. That's why I love Nestle Crunch. <laughs> Samara. This is my last game. Then we're going to the beach. Oh my gosh. Are you drink coffee more? Oh my gosh. Samara's going crazy. She's dancing. That's why I love Nestle Crunch. That's why I love my puppy. As you can see, the beautiful salmon migrating. It's a sight for sore eyes. What? Look at the large boar over there. He does not care about the salmon. No hate, but how do you lose that? You had every upper hand. Of course, no hate. I don't think you'll be able to do the swimming here. I need 250 more. Oh, if I just run circles in this UI here. Oh, fudge, dude. Do you have regrets in life?
I just tried to build. I legitimately just tried to build. Oh, they gotta stop. Was there a gold auto? It's all good. I was in a panic state. Wait, you don't want to see my crowns? No, oh, guess not. GG. GG. Yo, shout out to Future Rawhide. Thank you for the dono. Carson, thank you for all those. Trey Alvarado, thank you for the membership. Critter Control 96. 96, thank you for the nine months, homie. Really appreciate the love. Uh, Kieran Yandel, thank you for the 35 months. Uh, no end of the season event, I don't think so. Uh, Cyberblade, thank you for the membership. Ozzy plays, you've made my year and hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you, man. And I, I hope you have a great rest of your year too. Zoe Miller, thank you. Shout out to you as well. Thanks for the UK early stream. You know, I gotta look out for the UK game, fam, you know? Aiden Chavette, can you please sing happy birthday to my brother Sam? He loves you and you inspire him. Hey, Sam, I wanna wish you the biggest happy birthday ever from your friend, Typical Gamer. Thank you for just being awesome. And I appreciate you. And thanks for always tuning into the videos, all right? Have a good one, buddy. Um, we have Jack Allen. Thank you for that. Mike Mavis, shout out to you as well. Can you play more games like the Corey? That was fun to watch. Will do, man. Will do. Uh, Danny, thank you for the uh, donut as well. My GF is working from home today. Can you say hi to Hannah? One of your friendly stream snipers, Mullet Danny. Have a good stream. Charlie is so big. Charlie is massive. And hi, Hannah. How you doing? Hope you enjoy your uh, work from home day. Do you like it better than the office? Probably, right? Bentley uh, Perryman, thank you for the membership. Terrence Pope, shout out to you as well. And then Sen OJ, thank you for the... Uh, the donos that's gonna be it for this one though guys uh again this stream was sponsored by warzone mobile so if you guys want to pre-register for warzone mobile there's gonna be a link in the description below so big shout out to them for sponsoring the stream i appreciate you all you guys are goaded i love you go follow me on twitter instagram links in the description below and uh, i'll tweet or instagram i guess if i'm gonna be going live today but if you don't hear anything from me it's probably probably i'm not but you can look forward to a tg plays video um in just a little bit all right still gotta record that so Good thing I warmed up. Good thing I warmed up. All right. I love you all. You guys are the greatest of all time. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day. And peace out.